to scratch. I've already, I'm going to repeat some stuff I already said to most of you, or to a few of you. We all know what happened last night, correct? Or does anyone not know? Negative Ghost Rider. I was not on last night. Uh, I don't know. So, speculative. and I'm actually glad we have Kitty in here. First off, Kitty, I think everyone I've talked to in the community thinks what that fuck tar did was absolute bullshit, and we're sorry you had to go through it. What do you do, Kitty? It's fine, those, thank you. Those, to be honest, of, it wasn't about that. It was more about how the admins reacted to it is why I got myself no, fueled up about it. We're up to speed. I'm going to bring girl. everyone up to speed. Okay. What happened was Thursday night, <laughs> troll number 101, I have no clue who this asshole idiot was, um, Wiggles is going to post a link to the thread, made some... There's nothing... He's even, muted. He's full muted. Proper... Um, Press is full muted. That's fine. So here's the link. Oh, I read Kitty, the copy and paste the oh, no. There okay. it is, right there. This is what got people in general just frustrated and on edge. Not necessarily what was done. I think everyone agrees it was absolute bullshit. No one would. However, Ross's response was less than professional. In oh, I, I'm form. not a fan of Ross at all. Well. We can get into hating other people in a moment. And for those who don't want to go tab out into the forums, he said, when we tell you we're busy, it's because we're busy. We suggested you file a, re a player report so we wouldn't forget about it. The administration isn't here. Jump at your every beck and call. You provide us with a really dodgy, quote, evidence, unquote, consisting of a copy and paste TeamSpeak chat log with time codes that are all wrong. So excuse us when we don't jump to your conclusions and perm some guy without confirming the story first. I believe the post was edited to add this. Now that we have, the player has been permed. Kitty, was that there originally when he first posted it or not? To be honest, nope. I don't remember. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. Because yeah. I looked at I don't it and think I was like, it what was. the fuck? Because he changed, he changed I it like four times. Yeah, it wasn't. I he did change it like four times. And I don't have the original, but that's It almost still... don't matter at this point. Right, right now, post yeah. the timeline. Yep. So... The rest of that thread, just to not go into every stupid post, what? was dumb. It got people frustrated and on edge, especially with the admin team, with how they handled the situation. Going to later last night, because that was Friday afternoon, later last night we had the patch of doom dropped on the server. And I'm saying the patch of doom because it was dropped with no notice to the community of the details of it, no community input. It was just dropped onto us. Okay, we all agree there's there's issues in general most of us dislike. Whether hey, uh, we're getting picked up here for whoever is someone sitting here. Cops just showed up. Who's this? Who's Boston? So the change Sir, log came a strange message implemented on a game with no notice. That and some of the changes really frustrated no, a vast number of the community. If you haven't read them, go for it. It's they're not yeah, read them definitely. Well. But regardless, regardless of the actual content of them, most of the updates are never with notice. I agree, and that's something that was addressed, and I will get to that point in a moment. Um, when I spoke with, um, and I'll let you know who all was there last night as well. Uh, when we spoke with um, Sean, so that happened. Then we had Waldo, who. And we have a wide variety, a wider than we did earlier, variety of people in this channel. But Waldo, does anyone directly have a issue with Waldo? I think no. he's a very well respected member of the community. Not at all. Here's my leader. Waldo's awesome. I must obey my leader. Okay. So, <laughs> so again, we have a well respected member of the community. DMAT, I think a lot of people know as well. I'll say I don't know you as well as I do Waldo. But I respect you from my encounters with you. Those I two know me, Waldo, and they're oh. respectable. Well, those two went into the channel to talk with Bobus and a few others, admins. Okay, when they were in there, um, my understanding is stuff got heated. Um, Bobus said, "Are you here, Dmat?" I am. Can you say what Bobus said to this group? Because it was shit, All and right, everyone well agrees. Okay, so basically, I hop onto the server, I've been playing for about 15 minutes. Everybody, you guys were probably on at the time, everybody's posting inside chat about all the shit that went wrong. Some people were probably on the forums. 
I took a more direct approach and went to the channel that Bobbis and them were in. I went up to there, and so the admins that were in there was Bobbis, Kenny, and Caveman. I went up there, I simply said Bobbis, and Prophecy was there. I simply went up there and I said, you do realize that there are a lot of people on the server dislike this. The server is supposed to be about the community, not about what you want. And they they then responded with, well, we want the server to die anyway, so we released a bad oh. patch on purpose well, to well, cause this population they, to go down. Was it not... Well, Bob has said it. Bob yeah, has said it, but they all, they all, they all, all uh, caveman prophecy, prophecy. I don't. I think he was being silent, but caveman, not caveman, but him and Kenny. And you, you gotta. Stuff. You have they, to they all clarify exactly said. who said what in this case. Okay, Bobby. Yep. Bob has said it, and everybody else was just going with Bobus because you know. If, did they stay the silent owner. or did they say anything? Them said silent, but at the end, they all started still. They all still went against me, and they decided they with Bobus. Okay. So they, they all they, sided with Bobbis, and they went against me, of course. Sided not not with what your statement was, but with killing the servers. My concern. Bobbis is the one that said that. I don't, yeah, I don't think they, they, any of the other guys really want to kill it. No, Kenny. I know Kenny doesn't, but I, I don't even think Bobbis does. I just think that that was completely unprofessional to say. Oh. All right. So that was said. Okay. And we. Henry went... also heard that, but he got banned from the server, so he couldn't respond in the. Well, Henry's in the form ban, about that. My understanding is well, is being lifted by, um, as once um, everyone who was banned last night for multiple reasons are being unbanned, and that's from Sean. I tried so hard to get banned, and they they didn't fucking do it. So I mean, it's moving on, <laughs> guys. What's the point guys, of this? Everyone agrees that this. was absolute bullshit, right? Yes. Um, we had a group speaking with Sean. Cave, as Sean, Caveman, myself, Recoil, um, Thaddeus, Nitro Beast, and I know I'm missing someone. And I'm going to link you guys a Google Doc of basically kind of notes from it. Um, we spent three, three and a half hours talking about issues. To sum it up, what's going to happen is Sean's um, going to lead and we're all going to have tanks. Tear him out. No. Sean's going to end up nice. basically taking over the actual running of the server, not the behind the scenes, but senior admin. Since he's a silver crown, he's going to go and step up. Caveman said he will be returning as an admin. Sean is a silver crown. Claude Rivers. Um, Wait. you got to tell him what like his symbols are because he doesn't have an actual name. It's symbols. Yeah, it's, it's like weird. C. It starts with a C. It looks like Russian. It's here. It's um, Russian name. Um, he's on, in if you look in the ALE interview room, He's the psycho, psycho whatever. Psycho. Well, what, Drax, let me ask you a question. What's to okay. stop Bobbis coming back once the population comes up and everything's roses and daisies again? What's to stop <clears> him <throat> coming back from taking everything over? Um, simply, he doesn't care. He's going to be well, staying in the back. He honestly wants Well, he was to one of this. the old primary um, devs, wasn't yes. he? No, um, he was one of the three financial backers. Uh, um, Sean, uh, Sean's gonna be speaking of them, trying to even if they want all the way out, take the savings. Um, it has to stay with the community because it's a nonprofit, and keep it running. And just okay, you're not liable, you're not involved. That's my argument would be if he wants nothing to do with it, then he's gotta give up the reins to Sean. <laughs> That's it. And we Completely. want that, but we have to. We haven't had a chance to even talk with them yet. Right, so I need to say something. Um, be okay. the Beast Feast is on board for this going on okay against property i know i'm gonna take everyone's names i know we have it recorded he's as well that, uh, he's, he's, he's banned yeah he's an aos member but he got banned all right nice. who so, was that oh beast oh. feast yeah oh yeah he got beaned from the sts or from so, the us no from the steam ah the team speak he got banned from team speak sorry so, i've been dr drinking a little all day moving on words um drinking a little all day Love with that. the discussion that was had, and then another discussion that's had earlier today, which I know DMAT was in, Recoil was in as well, who are both in here. Businessman was there last night and some today as well. Um, we're gonna there's gonna be some new admins being uh, recruited. Um, Sean's gonna be empowering the admins to do a lot more. There's gonna be a player. Can you guys uh, hear me? Yes. Yes. A player Did moderation it? team, in essence, um, that will what? moderate the server, that will work 
as well as the admins, similar to the post that had been made about the office government, but actually being player support. Um, we're going to be rolling back the changes, as said. Um, manufacturing will still be in, however, items will be purchasable. All items will be purchasable. Drax, the insurance will be put back in, yes? Yes, the change That's from this one. is being rolled back. Right. So, or as say it will be. Um, for those in here, I know we addressed the proxy issue, but I'm trying to just go through my notes from what yep. we talked about. So, on proxy, he's currently the only developer. That's not the issue at all. Um, Sean had said, and this way everyone in here who's now in here can hear it. Sean had said that he, he's not doing a direct ban him. User joined your channel. He's going to be on a just very, like, a leash tighter than anything. Tighter than Virgin, you know. We keep I, hearing I, that, though, by yeah, the admins you know for a while what? now. I don't, yeah, well, we've, listen, we've been hearing listen, that for the last listen, three years. I don't care but, if they're strangling him like an Iraqi prisoner. Nothing short of ban can get any of my people. I can't go to him with that. He's got to be gone or User it's a deal breaker. Your channel. Well, and that's why we did what we did earlier, which Very can well. be presented as well. Okay. I'm not too sure I could even talk to anyone, though, if, if he's not gone and Kenny, because him, him and Kenny are pretty good friends, and I've came to the admins plenty of time and get bitched out by Kenny and stuff well, from it because they're always rolling together. I don't and think we can use Kenny as a as a leverage point at this at all. No, no. Yeah. we're not trying to. He's compromised. Just, no, I'm just telling you though. I mean, he's, he's compromised. He's been Let's completely biased we'll in the whole process though. He can't our, stay hold on. admin. Hold on, our leverage so, is Sean. Yeah. Sean is your, your leverage is Daedric. Our leverage, leverage is, is Sean, and Sean is taking have... over. You have Daedric. It's Whoa, all, wait, it's all what's okay. What's going on here? Is this like a community get together to take over the server? What about no, we now? Have... <laughs> yes, that's right. pretty much what it is, actually. Well, we that's have... what it looks like. It's at like this moment, we have 21 back. members of the community in this channel. Okay. So, and we've Can we had... vote for mayor? I think we're talking like... a lot of core players, too. Guys, guys, yeah. guys. Drax, let Drax speak. All right, we had 15 or so earlier this afternoon. We had off and on four to eight last night and right, so we have the members of this community speak out and wanting to save it sean wants to work with us um we're going to get community helpers back that actually will be working with sean directly to any ideas that people have we're going to have a form posted so we can get them circulated well, and, and work on improving stuff oh, um this uh, link they just need to revamp the whole like server because stuff poverty stricken yeah. server ain't gonna well, do nothing. Jay, that's why the, well, hurry up, the prices I'm sure will be adjusted. It just has to be right, looked at. Yeah. That can't happen Show overnight. Oh, I'm trying to get a couple well, other people in here well. as well. Yeah, you making the corrections that you're saying will stop the flow back. They've already fucking migrated. Oh, for fuck's sake, Jay, sir, damn it. Alright, so. I mean, just Can you guys stop just spamming. Okay, well, let me chat. ask a question. If all these things change, okay. who actually is going to yeah, go back to the server? I know Recoil, you I have. Do too. Well, a lot of people <laughs> well, in this room, a lot of people in this I mean, room okay. have the said fact that we have 21 people right now. I know of five that will come back just by me asking. Talking five. Walt already said he'll come back, and Rough and Roddy probably will too. I could get an entire gang on the server if I wanted to. I mean, well, it shows it, everybody supporting just by yeah. everybody sitting in this channel saying yes. basically they'll come back if changes are done. Exactly, but there has to be solid stuff, not just yeah, fuck. Right. Yeah, right. Right. No. And what has to happen, and this was what Sean asked of the members last night, what was asked earlier today, and since he's not here to re relay it to us, I will. If we, he's going to do what he can do immediately, the rest will take a little time. It will happen, but people okay. have to also show that like this right here, presenting a video with 21 people here talking like we are, present to him will help show, okay, we care as a community still. So what's going on with Prophecy then? Um, I'll, I'll fill you in <laughs> later at support, okay? We, we, this class we already addressed. No, it's not classified. No, no extra drags. A lot of the people joined after you explained it. You might want to go over it again. I think everyone... Most no, of the people are no, here. No, no, Proxy is no. still going to be developing. So a lot of the need. a lot of the people from Afterlife joined in after you said it, and that was like half okay. the people in here. Yeah.
No, that's that's fine. I just I, I just fucking want to know dick. Shit yeah, and I'll fill anyone changing. in after this whole group so you guys can get back to playing where you One, are. One, I'm not. I, so is um, prophecy going to actually be doing programming or anything? Um, well, as of last still night, be a dev according to what I'm hearing. As of last mm -hmm. night, listen. As of last night, he was. Okay, things may have changed with this conversation we're having of 21 members of the community. The conversation I'm also earlier worried today. Just the fact that I've seen his script and it sucks. The conversation we had with 15 members of the community as well. Okay, earlier today. And I'm gonna present it all to Sean, and if he rules on it, and follows the wishes of the community like he's saying he will. Who knows? I can't speak for Sean. I can just say and relay what he had told me and recoil last night. We can tell them what we want. But... Yep, and we have to see action. Okay, and that's where we're getting at. So, if what? we relay this information as the, basically the core of the community, we can see what he does. If he's true to his word of wanting to help us all and get it to happen, then let's see it. Okay, so if what happened? Not, what happened with the admins after you went in? We, we right, keep bouncing right. back to prophecy. What happened? I know that's yeah, well, one sorry. So Yo, after we take the shot? they went in, then that happened. Um, everyone left. We went from like forty-five people to ten within an hour on the server last night, due to the wildfire of what was said by Bobs. Um, what the fuck just happened, yo? Y'all should probably log out if y'all are gonna do this. Dude, we just got smoked, bro. Where? Fuck! That's fucking with 5 DP. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> fuck. Fuck Night 5 wing. DP. Oh, Camel man. Joe going ham. Guys, right. if you're playing, go and keep your. I, if you want to listen, great, but go and keep that out for now for us. I'm gonna re link the great. notes that we took. It's a Google Doc. User disconnected from your channel. That has the notes from stuff that is being addressed. And guys, can you please stop spamming the chat and bots? And what happened to what happened to Venom and patches that he was doing? Because those all got thrown to the wayside. I have no clue. Is Prophecy Priority? still support team? Prophecy, this is before. Prophecy. Well, hold on, guys. guys we're working video. on getting him out of. The community. We of, can't yeah, keep bringing it up. On. There's <laughs> other issues that we I mean, on a side note, do you see how big of a deal this I mean, is? So that's the we do said one. User we do said one. That's not and our decision to get rid of him also. We can we're, say working. That. we're working on it because Sean is working with us currently is to get the server running again. If you guys are in on that, then this is why you're here. If you're not in on getting the server back and going and wanting it to see it go grow again, then you can leave. User joined your channel. Okay, bye. You, if you have, if you have any like last hopes that you want the server to work, come with us because we're trying to get the server back and running. With the help of Sean, Sean is taking over the admin team. Um, there will be admins recruited. There will be a player support team that's actually going to be empowered to moderate the forums and to be able to relay everything out. Um, the changes, everything's going to be opening up in terms of how. What's <laughs> going on behind the scenes? So it's not some like government conspiracy, at, in a way it, as it's been. This way, like the community is informed. Okay, this way the community can be more informed and have a voice, because that's what we all I think want is a voice. Right. But are the admins willing to just change the rules like really quick? And not, okay, like, but here, what goes take a month to do it. This is the thing. He's taking over the admin team. He is not going to be a dictator of the admins, but what he's we're going to work on doing is channel. we're going to work on getting all those bad admins that aren't willing to work with the community. Because when the admins aren't working with the community, it's not a community anymore. Correct. Agreed. Yeah, so we're Iron working on getting those ones out of the admin team. Yeah, but the main thing you got to do is you got to improve like the game plan on the server to actually get people yes. to want to play on Yes, it but because... a lot of a lot of the non-playing into of it is what the how the admins represent themselves to everybody else is yeah yeah it's it's pretty bad but another thing that's really stupid and this will sound this will sound dumb you can't have groups of like eight going around and just robbing every single sip that they see it just doesn't work it, no no matter how good the server is and like how good the admins are no sibs going to stay after that but that's a different systemic down. issue right i agree which will be solved like, in time and like like was mentioned getting and this takes dev work to do. I mean, not much. It's just adding the scripts, I realize. But all items will be purchasable again. 
what price range that is yet to be known in full. I mean, no clue on it. But all items will be purchasable again. That was even said by Bobbis in one of the threads. I forgot which one. I mean, and that's because he decided to inject himself, which just whatever on him. And that's where I view it. We're a community. We're working as a community with Sean to improve the game and get it back. Um, but all things will be purchasable. The change log will be rolled back. Um, businessman, yeah, exactly. Who I mean, put this? I, um, who put this Google Doc together? Um, that was actually written by Thaddeus. Okay, good. Um, and that, I didn't even know he was taking the notes at the time. User joined your channel. Sad thing is, there was some decent changes in that change log too. Well, and that's Welcome, where Caveman and Caveman was there last night as well. Caveman's here. <laughs> Welcome, He's our hero. Caveman. So, Fuck that guy. Fuck that caveman guy. Yeah, Fuck that caveman's here. Useless. So, Someone has to. Those notes were from Thaddeus of what all was discussed as a whole and stuff we felt. I'm not going to directly post them on the forums because they're his. They're not mine to post. I and see I'm a penis. I don't see notes. Yeah, well, oh, you're talking about the Google Docs from yesterday. <laughs> yes. All right. Yeah. So carrying on. Additional stuff that was brought up, and I'm just summarizing it, was getting the rollback, letting the community have the input, which Sean was all on board of, and Caveman was there as well, so he can back it up. Yeah, I'm retired. For now. <laughs> I'm retired. <laughs> you said you wouldn't be, though. You're retired, but you still got an opinion. You do have an opinion. You're a well-respected oh, man on the server. I'm server. extremely opinionated. <laughs> yeah, I didn't say it was a good opinion. I said an opinion. <laughs> exactly. And so we're going to try and open stuff up. You have player support team. That's something that yes. Sean moved for and wanted. Yep. If um, I did not retire, that would have been my next little project is I was going to try to reform the whole player support thing. Uh, I was going to remove everybody from it and then uh, select just a few people who are really trustworthy and give them the ability to moderate the uh, forums. Specifically, that was the goal. Uh, Hi, I'm businessman. Take, you know, take some of the weight off of because us admins fucking hate going on the forums. Some of us like it, but um, for me, I couldn't be bothered. Absolutely, well, it's hate a different. Shit. It's a different support team at that point. Exactly, exactly, and therefore the positions need to be filled, and it shows a lot of effort on the part of somebody when they do that required responsibility voluntarily, instead of just saying, "Oh, you'll be a good admin." Yeah, yeah. This guy likes you. Let's put you a probie. No, why don't you work for it a little bit? I'm not going to lie, it seems like the admins don't really care when you, when you post something. Because I posted a report on the guy just to see if he combat logged. Because I was, I was like, I wanted to figure it out. They said that they were going to look into it. And it's been a full year and nothing went through. Some do, some don't. It all depends on who catches it. And yep. that's where... And but Gaming all, can back it up. Hold on, guys. But all they have to do, all they have to do is say, we don't know. Like instead of just saying that it's still open, right? Because it's still it's still open right well, now. And I'm sitting there. Right you know, talking about like this... a, is it like a, hold on, is it like a comp request or something? No, no, no. Like I re I reported a guy just report. because. Okay, I wanted... so it was a player report. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, basically, was... your your best bet. I know, and it doesn't say anywhere to do this either. And I'm sure that a lot of people are like, well, I don't want to harass the mods about something, but it's okay to text us and be like, yo, um, here's this report from a while ago. So what's the situation with that? And if you get a hold of the, you know, nine times out of ten, because right now we have good admins, you know, not all of them are amazing at helping people, but uh, they will investigate things if you ask. Yeah. If I could and say something. We do care, but we don't check the forums as avidly as we should, but together with the amount of admins we have, we do our job okay. well enough, but it's like 90%. 10% of stuff does fall through the fingertips, but it's very rare. Uh, it used to be a lot worse. So you yeah. may have been stuck in the rug it, on accident. Yeah, it was just weird because. But that's not evidence of people not pretty... caring. The only reason why I'm saying this is it's not evidence of people not caring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it, it, was, it, it wasn't like the biggest issue and all that. I just saw it happen. I just wanted to bring yeah. it up because like, like yeah, yeah, shit sometimes does. It, like it kind of does sometimes get in, get ignored because it's not top priority at the yeah, time, right? I will right. give these guys credit for usually taking care of issues that are. You know, ad directly admin related, breaking core rules. The the one nice thing is if you come into TeamSpeak, you're you're resolved within like two minutes. 
Yeah. Yeah. I, I think we all know how we got here. I think the most energy we should uh, expend is how to fix the problem. I mean, Correct. we can spend hours saying who's the biggest asshole, how much. That's not helping us. I, I mean, we need to fix this and, and not waste any time. I'm the biggest asshole. No, nah, that's where you're wrong. You're an asshole. That's where you're wrong. <laughs> so like that he just... said, I like that he, he he's the reverse cycle. He's like, guys, don't think about the biggest asshole right now. No one was even mentioning the biggest asshole, but now we're all thinking well, about prophecy. Caveman, that's <laughs> it's because great. we are here. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that right. You weren't here ten minutes ago. It was quite uh, comical. I, yeah, I'm, Caveman, here. I'm, I'm always here. Recoil's doing a video. I'm going to show you. Caveman, you can see, you can watch the video. It'll be great. You'll love it. I'm going to present it to Sean. Okay, okay. Just link it. Oh, uh, it's getting uploaded by um, Recoil. It was a painful, painful silence. <laughs> oh well, I need a link. Fuck! It's the funniest. Holy shit! It's the funniest Let's thing I've again. never heard. <laughs> you didn't hear anything. That's about accurate. <laughs> exactly. All right, let's look at this. All right, hold on a sec. I'm gonna listen to this. Yeah, but I mean, I'm here because I like you guys. I like playing with you guys. Want to get uh, here because I'm Coyote's twin, apparently. But just loaded into the server, and I might buy the salt flats. Oh yeah, oh, my lunar yeah. here. I mean, like it's a big plus <laughs> to that the game is really fun that we play, but the community is really why people end up staying. It's because and of the agreed. people that you meet. Why this? That whole, is really uh, true. Is that is here. really true, caveman. If it that's wasn't why... for the people I met on COP, I would have never stayed. Yeah, well, let's be honest. I mean, Arma 3, now, at the same time, Arma Life provides something that no other game provides. It's very interesting in that aspect. Uh, however, it's a shitty fucking game, guys. Like, no matter how you spin it, it's a miracle <laughs> that any fucking mod, any mission file is playable at all. It's a miracle. So, you know, shit's rough no matter what. I, but I'm not suggesting anyone has too high of expectations either. I think you guys have it pretty much in the right, the right idea for things. Uh, I mean, most of us just wish comes down that to... just GTA had some of the stuff and that this had. Exactly. And it would be all over there. Caveman. Oh, hell yeah. Caveman. With what the SCS too. has done, it's like trying to shove the square cube. You know those things when you played with me were like a yes. baby? It's like trying yes, to shove the square cube into the circle one. I agree. To me, the biggest problem is, I mean, your, your mission file on SCS is amazing. The best out there. But... The cops oh. and the way things are run, the rules, that's what fucks this server, to, in my opinion. In my opinion. I've had many people User try to come here, and they've left. Oh. Uh, caveman. That's... Okay, see, now this is the thing. If at least, if none of this works, at least You're the last thing, I, at least the, the last thing I'd want for this to happen is, if, we, if none of this works out how we want it to, I'd like to get the mission files, because I have somebody that could host. I have, I disagree server. with your opinion. Lady. Oh well, yeah, I mean, like I, once again, I'm no harbor of the mission file. You'd want to speak to a, a higher up admin, such as Mini Storm or Dietrich. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that they, I think mission, I think the I think rules just need to be relaxed. Well, to it too. I, well, I mean, see, the thing is, guys, it's like the game itself on paper is a board game, and that's how it needs to be viewed. And it hasn't really been. It's been kind of like, oh, we'll just do this over here, and they'll sprinkle a little bit of shit all over there, and. Call it good. And <laughs> somehow, somehow it fucking works, you know. And, and we do have brilliant minds every once in a while, like Led Zepp, to, who's actually capable of thinking about all of the dynamics when what happened putting to Led something Zepp? new in. Where did he go? He got he got tired of this shit. I mean, the the problem is. I that understand where he's coming from. Yeah, I get it too. Led Zepp is kind of a lot hey, like Sean, me in the sense that Sean, we're really double. good at we're oh, good at well, lobbying. Well, well. We're good at Sean. lobbying to get things to move, but once they put us in charge, we don't know what to do. Well, yeah, Sean's right. here, guys. All right, guys, let Sean Hold speak. Up. Um, is there not a fuck? Well, we're all, it's but guys, speak, get, off his, get off his dick. <laughs> I'm sorry, but uh, I'm dead on top of a building right now. So is anyone in game? Oh my god. Yeah, I'm in game. Where are you at? Alright. I'm at the main HQ. I've been playing this server for You're main HQ. You wanna try to cover right my cards? Guys, guys, It's guys, always guys, been guys. in a constant hey guys, state of if shit. If you're worried about game stuff, can you worry Whoa. about it somewhere else, please, right now? It's all- it's stuff. all- it's all been a, like a constant shitfall. Ever since Stratus, I used to say the server used to be better. But yep. right now, it's kind of just gone totally to shit. And I think that's and because making money is so hard. They've made right, it, just... they've made playing as a chore. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, the thing is, is that um, yes, exactly. But it should also be a, it. It's the balance between valuing your shit and your life and your gear and your trucks, and then actually not being horribly fucking in despair when you lose it. 
So there's a balance between User wanting you to from your people to value it, but also, you know, be able to attain it at a reasonable amount of time. And right now okay. it's unreasonable for how long it takes. And it's been that All way right. for a long time. It's been right. like this for quite a, quite a while. And guys, I'll tell you one thing. The server has changed up and down. It's had horrible bugs for a long time. It's had horrible rules that are gone. Uh, no one remembers. Maybe Red does. He mentioned Stratus. Um, and in the end, it really comes to the fact that when no new players come in, a life server starts to die or alarm bells start to ring. And that's what we're experiencing right now is the lack of new players. So that's what we've got to focus on. And like you said, it's way too difficult to get ahead. Um, but at the same time, we have to balance that with valuing shit. If you don't no, value no. anything, what's the fucking point? I mean, I guess, okay, man, man, within the on. last like two or three weeks, oh, I'll say a month, the biggest breath of life into the server was honestly ALF showing back up. Yeah, right. Yeah, because right, they, no, were the, not, they were the they were the biggest again. influx of. Pe I'm regardless of anybody's opinion on them, that was the yeah. biggest influx of people that came in in a long time. They all Great left. Cave okay, in. They all left in one night. I tried to stay here. I tried to hold some of me. Goat will attest to this. Um, we uh, we. I'm in ALF. Me. I'm in ALF. I wasn't also. originally yeah, in it. They're, I joined they're, back they're when they came back because a friend was in the original. Yeah. I originally yeah. was because of the admin. So, no. Phil, what? Yeah, hold on. Can I speak real quick? Can was that? No. No, caveman. Um, with the whole valuing your life and the whole stuff right there, one of the big problems is why people get so mad is me and Drax were talking about this with Waldo. Drax, you know what I'm talking about right now, right? Oh, well. You can explain it better with, than me. All right. So we came up with a proposal, and I'll let the people in here know I actually confirmed it with Crossy, since he is a dev, the only one I personally know of any kind, that this is doable. And I think it's a great idea. Please, guys, but, please know that prophecy is not in charge. Okay. We know. That's a dirty word okay. in this channel, though. But, Go ahead. Okay. No, I need to know if it was doable. Okay. That's right. why I asked oh, him. Okay. Let's okay. Go. Just if it is doable. Putting in the. First off, um, as the changes are going to happen, or going back as we're brought up on the forums and stuff, putting in the jail a paintball sign up guy. Oh, that'd be awesome. I'm sorry, a paintball sign-up? Or what? dual, dual, basically. The dual and paintball guy. You know that you, the, the yeah. person that you can sign up to play paintball? Because, I thought we already had that. Because instead of, yeah, we do, but it's not in prison. Because there, when you go to prison, there's absolutely nothing to do there for 60 to, like, 20 minutes. So, by doing that, give something there. So it's not just going to be AFK for an hour. Um, that's Big punch just... and plates pay, pay big or something. Something. That's you cool. can bet. I mean, you can bet in it. Honestly, too. honestly, but, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, guys. We have over 50 brilliant little ideas just like that, Drax. Like we yeah, have so many of them. So I, honestly, like in the past four months, I've gathered so many of those cool ass little ideas that that's great, Drax. But that's well, not gonna solve the problem. No, either. it's not. But that's, that's what Dmat was. Yeah, it's there. fucking awesome. But I love that I shit. Actually, All the little things that make life missions more interesting. We need that. I mean, we've and we've actually systematically them taken them away. Outside if you guys slacker. have been here for two years, you would have seen how we've systematically yeah. taken yep. away a lot we of have. little tiny aspects that were so yep. fucking cool that yep. made it really like, I don't know. There was a, a a moral reason, you know, like cops actually used to go after drug dealers. Now they're just going after people with guns, meaning firefights. You know, there were, there were there was just so many little aspects. When you smoked weed, a fucking, uh, you know, smoke grenade popped out of your ass, and you just like Cheech and Chong the whole neighborhood, and it was hilarious. All the little <laughs> tiny things, all the little things we used to have, people bitched about it, and someone knee jerk reaction removed it, and it decreased the fun by five percent every single time, and it does feel very bare bones. And I agree, we do need a, we need like a care package of a bunch of little awesome aspects returned to yep. the game and right. that's what if you want to focus on the little things like that drex then what i would suggest to you is to develop a list of yep. the little like a care package of little things already. and and add medicinal marijuana to the hospitals while you're at it top off your health right well what i'd like to do <laughs> to, to not take everyone's time that's in here even longer sean i'm going to address you did you look at that video that i linked you it's not even the little things that need to be addressed right now. It's just the big yeah, things. And then after the that, little when you start, things can come as we go. When you start but getting I, new players, then it'll be fun. But new players are leaving within five minutes. It's not the little features that they're leaving from. Exactly. 
Thank it's you. people. It's the people flying around in fucking helicopters, just robbing yep. everybody, just because. And we saw that, and TRS as a group saw that as a problem, and we created a um, we created a protocol for TRS, and we specifically stated no robbing people that have the SEAL Team sloth shirt, or if they look ungeared, you can't rob well, them. The that is, sounds like a the, really the, bad. No, the well, thing no, is, it, it's that's... great for it's great for an OLG to have commandments within their their little guild. That's perfect shit. Now, like, you might, you might, you might feel like you might feel like that's a bad idea, but I like it. it, it but it keeps well, the it idea. keeps it keeps the people that are new to the server. And honestly, a lot of well, there's us plenty of actually... other people that are going to rob them too. So I mean, yeah, there I'm are. Just doing them a favor. But, yeah, but on a, but I they all actually... said almost the same thing. We didn't. It was just to rob anyone that. Right. Looked like they were fresh, or they were like it was an forbidden. Or but to don't, you that was fresh. but don't you Unless see? Unless they were this known a, enemy. Look at the psychological effect of this, though. By removing the robbing rule that forced you guys to do this, you are now taking it upon yourselves to do it because you're a fucking human being, no, and don't. you see how much it takes from the person to do it, so you don't want to do it anymore. But right. and so that's the interesting thing, though, is when you make it so you want to do it, then the culture changes, and that's the thing where too many rules can actually be detrimental. The whole thing so, about it, though, is it doesn't matter. Like, I've been new to so many servers, and I like I barely get robbed. When I do get robbed, I actually enjoy the experience. The only Me problem, <laughs> the only, no, it's really fun because like it actually is interesting, right? Because they're saying a lot of shit, and you're just sitting there, and it turns into a joke fest, and it's cool, right? But it's not cool when there's ten people there, and you're sitting there going, even if I like, if you try to do something, like, if if somebody tries to rob you in an off road. And you desync them, hit their tires, and get away, right? That's the best thing ever. Like, as a new player, you're like, holy shit, I can actually get away from these guys. When there's 10 guys in a hummingbird, it's, it's, over. Not, it's not fun. Oh, like, yeah, especially you, a pilot if, who knows what they're doing, you're done, dude. If like, you, there's if nothing you you're limit, going to do. If you limit the group size allowed and stuff like that, like, it sounds really stupid, but being in a group more than four, there's never a reason except for Fed that you need to be more than a group of four. Um, I mean, oftentimes now, that, you see, that, that... like, in TeamSpeak, there'll be a bunch of people in TRS channel. Well, there's four or five people doing runs at that point and a couple people gangbanging. Well, I mean, you from the well, visual aspect, we can't lately, limit it. it's looked like there's been 10 people in a channel all rolling together, but usually there's not. No, it's and not oftentimes, that. we because... will separate and won't respond to each other's stuff. Yeah, Coyote, I, I'll, I'll follow you up there because I remember a few days ago, we had exactly 11 people in our channel and we were split up into three groups. At one time, we were all at like opposite sides of the map. But I remember one group reach was each doing... other at a moment's notice via helicopter. Exactly. We're usually not responding. Was the yeah, thing. but the, a lot of the thing is we weren't responding though because we knew each other's voices. We can tell who's who. So if say Coyote is uh, doing a drug run and he calls out that he saw people with guns and that they're chasing him, um, other people in his group will come and help him. If they all get wrecked, that's when another group will respond. Right. But otherwise, um, unless unless they call backup, which a lot of times they don't, because a lot of the people in the Reapers and Terras are pretty good at shooting and have good aim in case something does happen, they can handle it on their own. I mean, we would unless actually they really if call you, backup. If it was, so nobody else. If Channel respond. Commander worked as properly as it did for the cops, we would we'd be it. using it a lot more. Yeah, but yeah, the only would. no, the only Bro. thing about that, the only thing about that is you're doing groups versus groups, which the groups are fine. Like to be honest, you the groups really like each other. One group wrecks another group, whatever. Like, it's just how it happens. But new players, like, I, I've talked to a couple of new guys who are brand new to the server. I give them money and all that. They quit within, like, the day because they just don't like the, the amount of people. Like, they go they go fucking five feet out of Athera. They get robbed, kidnapped. Like, why, why can't they? <laughs> like, who cares? Like, like why? It is fun, and, and it, no, no, it's fine. It's totally fine. Like, robbing and kidnapping people, it can be fun. But with this persistent location, people take him out to the weirdest fucking place, leave him there, and they're like, now fuck you. It's yep, that's hell. super dick. Yeah, the first right. day I played on here, I was taken by... Uh, Me and Sun I... were off two new guns Joe. in the I... day. Thank you for mentioning that. Uh, the persistent location, I'll tell you guys, is one of those things where I bitched User and bitched and bitched channel. about it for months, and then finally I just kind of like gave up. I like Fine. the persistent location. It's I terrible. Like... No, 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 no. It's... I like it. I just don't like the fact that people... Um, abuse the fuck out of it. Yeah, they know the that you're going to come back. And the in the in yeah, the knowing really. you're going to come back and just all all aspect of it is really terrible. You should be teleporting back to a fucking town when you log out. Yeah, there's yep. just that simple. Honestly, there's nothing there's nothing Good wrong point. with the persistent location, but I could even if you got rid of it, I don't think anybody would really. And there's get. really nothing wrong with being able to teleport when you soft log. That's totally or maybe cool, make it like uh, out of RP. 
Yeah. Well, but the caveman. Like you get an caveman, option to either stay where you're at or go. You know, like well, it's well, one or the other. But caveman, the problem with that is people would be abusing the soft log aspect. Where that, say that's... you're in Athera and you're trying to get to a um, car shot. Like no, say you're in you're in um, the upper top part of the map and you're trying to chop something. Well, if you have a vehicle, you'd have to drive it. But say you're trying to buy something and, or okay, you're doing wheat. Like you want to do marrow like mess. You could just soft log all across the map to get to the places close. As they long can as make, you, they yeah. can make it so your Y inventory doesn't save now. Like, there's yeah, lots of ways that they can though. do it. There's a lot yeah, of ways exactly. that they can do there's it. A, yeah, there, there will obviously have to be adaptation. It's not, it's not it. like if you take that that uh, feature away that people are going to start combat logging, because if they combat log, you can see that they Still combat log. Trouble, yeah, yeah, like, yeah exactly. like, that's not the big problem. What I would all set the, all the and make it an uh, option for the taxi or something, make it where basically it gives you a countdown. There's no taxi online, and it automatically makes it after so long depending on where you're at that basically a virtual uh, ai dude came and got you or something and took you or something huh, that i think way they still had to wait uh, no, no what i would what like they to should do, do what i would like is, i was gonna have it be players and make it so that the player who is the taxi driver oh there's already drive taxi. To a pole. check this out no well, no listen the taxi driver could go to a pole hit fast travel then tr fast travel with that passenger somewhere can we go back to what we were originally talking about and figure yes. out when when we're when these are finally great, but you need to create a string and when we these all out. When is this gonna like, so when is this like decision going to go going to occur? I mean, yeah, this is all great and all. But all this dev shit is probably not gonna happen to be honest because we don't have any devs, so we can talk about all we want, but it's not gonna be well, right. I mean, okay, yeah, but that right now, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me say something. Yeah. Anybody that knows how to script, say type something in chat. Okay, that's the that's problem. That's, that was okay. a prophecy vote right there. <laughs> I can do graphics and skins oh, and all that, but I can't script. Okay, well, well that, I'll see, say that, this. that can be used though in certain ways. You can find another guy to script. No, no, the whole thing is you're looking for script as well. All you need is just the big things right now, like taking off persistent location, that shit's easy. Taking off persistent location for vehicles, that's all easy. Like limiting, limiting what groups can do, especially the new players. Like, there's no way that you can like full on address that. But people who have been in the community for a long time should have like the common sense to know that this guy is brand fucking new. Don't fu don't like ruin his experience within the first five minutes. I think I that's one of the biggest things well, when it comes to changes to the server. I want to know if someone's been in the server for under twenty or thirty hours. Like, okay, uh, so you know how the cops have a, like an icon next to them. They should get right? a colored like lieutenant? No, no, no. I, like, I want say... you to. I, I honestly, what I prefer, Coyote, is I prefer you to uh, see somebody, uh, rob them blind, have them try to run because they got scared, and I want you to kill them, and I want them to fucking die in front of you, and I want you to feel guilty about it, and I want you to think about that, what you did, and experience the moral fucking feeling of that, and then actually feel it within you to change that and not do it afterwards, if that's channel. the case. You know what right, I mean? Like that's been. that's well, what makes the game fun, though. That's the risk. You down. Hold on. <laughs> that's the kind of risk, man. That is important. All right. Well, hold on. Give me a moment. Okay. Well. Okay. Shit. I forgot what I was gonna say. Now. Thanks, Caveman. Thanks. There goes my robbing, robbing and stealing and people. Stealing stuff from people. Then. Well, what, yeah, gotta yeah, yeah, what gotta be a bad guy. What now? Gotta be a bad guy, man. Dmat, you know you're not supposed to drink this a bottle. This gotta be risk. What now, Sidewinder? The risk is killing the server. Guys, hold on, Sidewinder. What? I said, you know you're not supposed to drink the bong water, right? <laughs> well, guys, guys, we're talking about a lot of dev stuff. stuff. I think rule changes are something that we've talked right, about Rule changes will happen. But, and let's get something to address them. But, I mean, since we have Sean in here, I mean, we're throwing a lot of dev stuff out. I know people have said they know devs and whatnot, but until they message they? Sean... My only concern is until we, we have, have absolute down. control. That's my own only concern. Yeah, repeat that. That's an answer for you. Will these people that used to be here in power come back and just cause undo everything that's been done? Also, no. mm -hmm. Drax, hold on. Didn't didn't Echo say that he would come back if prophecy? We brushed that topic. I'm gonna try and talk with them more. Echo he did said nothing. He needs... So and I don't, I don't... know what he did. So I've, I I've he... looked at the I stuff did. he's done. I don't care if he comes back or not. He hasn't contributed shit to the server. Who's yeah. it? Echo. Echo. Like, and I don't know dev stuff. I know nothing about it. But anyone who knows dev, you guys have a can hate Sean. on prophecy all you want. But at the end of the day, he does know his shit to some degree. And, and, and the truth is, guys, he does work. He does work. Yeah. 
Well, you guys got to realize too, but I find find so funny. You want you guys really want a developer who represents the community and who you can like li who can talk to and all this good stuff and like have a great relationship with the dev. That's unnecessary and irrelevant. Talk to the admins, and we'll pass. And we're the one who's going to tell him what to do anyway. He's not in charge of shit. He's just an average person with some developing skills. That's it, guys. Like he he has no say in anything. He might be able to sneak some stuff in, but then he'll get yelled at. That's pretty much how it will go. There is no like, oh god, he's halfway down the road to an admin. We're all going to be under a prophecy. No, no one's under prophecy. He's simply just developing. I need you guys. But if you also look at the changes, though, it complements his whole place and his game play style. Go ahead, Sean. Go ahead, Sean. Since I saw you trying to talk and people talked over you. No, I was just saying, I, the only way fucking prophecy would get admin is if he like managed to not get in trouble or piss anyone off for like a six month period. <laughs> Impossible. Well, yeah, exactly. Was exactly. That was the, the issue point. with him being Since the only here. coder, the only oh, dev. Hook us up. That shouldn't. That shouldn't get some matter. People in that here. shouldn't matter. If you're and gonna keep him really. here we tell, because we tell he's him the only dev, then then you're doing the server dis disservice. It, um, it he's seems done so like much he's... damage here. He's done so much damage to say we're going to keep him around just because he can do a his few good things. His then he destroyed the server. Hey, no. His personality is not relevant sorry. to his ability to develop. It wasn't that him that cleared these you. changes. You guys don't understand. Yeah, you, yeah. you guys are like straw manning or uh, making yeah, him a like, pinata over nothing. You really yeah, don't, no, no, no. Yeah, you really don't know the technical it, facts. That's not the, that's not the rhetorical argument. The rhetorical argument is that because of his personality... He's ru he's made people leave. We're not Massive questioning amounts. his development. Well, so We're not questioning his developing. A lot of other. Well, things. Listen, he got, if it wasn't he's his connection to the world. admins, a lot of us believe, and him being a developer, believe he would he would have been perm banned a long time ago. I would talk to Kenny the other day, and he kept sticking up for him, and he kept asking I me, "Do so. I want to see how many times he's no, banned him?" I said, "Okay, so show me how many times you banned him." It's not true either. Now the only thing, the only thing. Let me say it plain and simple, okay, caveman. I, I, for whatever allegiance anybody might have to him, he's he's so polarizing and it's done so much bad here. You, if if he stays here, all this is for nothing. I can say that without any problem. Agreed. The all only this thing is for nothing. The only thing that I have to say is I've never had an issue with prophecy because I've never. I've only ran had into one him. problem with it. I, I, no, I, I don't is, have a horse in the race. No, but it's he's just, so I've... polarizing <laughs> and he's done so much bad to everybody. I mean, when, when everybody, the, the few people here that are willing to stay, stick it out and do something, he can't get one hand raised. To, that's all you need to know about the guy. Are you kidding no, the, me? The only thing is, is I've never had a situation YouTube video with speaks him. for itself. I've never had yeah, a situation yeah, yeah. with him, except for every single person that I talk to in-game. The first thing that they say, like, out of fucking nowhere is, fuck prophecy. Like, they I actually played with him as a, I played with him a, against him as a, when he was a cop and I was a rebel, I played against him when he was a rebel and I was a rebel and I played with him in the same group as I've been in and in every case I've had a sour taste in my mouth yeah. so I, I mean even been if you in don't my have group and I have point, wanted him out but I didn't video. control it Two well, I mean, of the just say they don't you guys, want him. He's go. In all honesty, you guys are in luck then because he's not really going to be playing that much. He's going to be too busy trying to yeah, fucking fix the server. That's not so. Yeah, I can't go to I my mean, like, I don't here. know what that's you. I don't know right why. Why yeah. you guys think like? Okay, guys, hold on. Hold he's hold on. in charge of anything. Okay, he's right literally now, muling on. his ass off to what, help the server. What Caveman just said now is that basically, instead of being on the server, he's locked in a room working on the server. And yeah. Therefore, can't really piss people off if because anything, of his personality. You, be happy. Guys, you can't really talk anything, to you him. Be you guys celebrating. are very motivated. You guys are very, very motivated. So, uh, if you guys really want him gone, find us some substitutes. Like, you know, go out there and recruit some fucking that, people for that us is if you really want him gone. Please do. With, listen, please do. Sean, all due respect, to get rid of somebody that has done as much damage as his and have a response that we need to find a replacement. But we need a developer. We need things. a developer. That's the thing. So but see, that, that just proves our point right, though. Can. That yeah. You're saying that's you'll get rid problem. of him only if, if the server the breaks. You will be you're you're proving it. our point, though, that you guys won't get rid of him unless there's another backup developer, though, with how toxic he is, though. Well, but makes that's sense. what I mean. Hold on. Well, in we're, all, we're hold basing on. this go. Let me, hold no, on, let me say, I have got to respond to Goat's little statement here. Though. I know. I mean, the, I'm responding. The point to it is, is, I was responding. Hold, to hold it on. As well. Hold on. The point is, is not that he's like if if you're talking under the precedent, the prophecy is such a bad dude that he's going to do some really shady shit as a developer and be really detrimental for the server. Then you're already you can't wrong say because he's, he's not already. Hold be on, Goat. Never goat, on the shut server. Up. He's gonna be put. Quiet. Shut up. That's what he's saying.
listen, the point is, is that if he's going to be a liability as a developer, then he should not be a dev. And if his uh, personality is going to be a detriment to his ability to be a dev, then he shouldn't be a dev. But currently, already, he has helped. And he has tirelessly been spending the last two weeks trying right. to assist the server. And, and so whether he's the biggest asshole, as well. whether he's the biggest asshole on the planet, is irrelevant to him doing work for us on paper. You understand well, the difference? I have, I have a real quick question. There is a difference, guys. A I understand. Question. I understand where they're coming from. With without a dev, this server cannot progress whatsoever. Well, It'll be listen. stuck in the state it yep. is right now. Uh, Lunar, Lunar, Lunar has not talked at all. Let's give Lunar a minute. What this is the only thing that I have on it is if. We're saying we need to get rid of prophecy, and I'm not his biggest fan at all. We do need a dev, but if we're banning him or keeping him off the server, what in his, why in his the right mind would he stay on and dev for us? Know what I mean? No, we're not ban. No, the thing we're the the whole controversy here is. We no, that's keep what him, I'm saying. We here, keep him as but a that's dev, what they're saying. He no, they're saying that. He's not going really to play, but he's going to be a dev. Guys, hold on. I don't even get, 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 even get on, why you want, on. like, you want to get rid of him, but he's the dev. Like, what's the, the thing point? Is, he's not even playing the game. This is the same problem. Everybody else wants him gone. Everybody. Not one person, unless they're an admin, wants to keep them here. This is the same problem, different day. It is. It's the same problem. Only the admins want him here. Everybody on the server, <laughs> well, in the team speak here, now want him gone. Same problem, different day. Yeah, but the so, so basically, here is so he's a dead. Sidewinder, Sidewinder, I want you to p imagine a boat, okay? And we're all on this boat. And the boat is sinking. Very slowly, but it is sinking. And us admins, we're the guys with the buckets. And we dump the water over back into the ocean, but more keeps coming in. So you know what prophecy is? He's that fucking asshole who's capable of plugging in the holes in the boat. And he's ne necessary. And you're saying, I don't like him. He stole my fucking muffin the other actually, day. Actually, at Let's the time, he's the actually edge. drilling more holes you, than he is if, fixing is, no, no, is that's he not, drilling more stole holes? my muffin. No, he's not. He's, he's, not he's causing more players to leave he by his not. attitude and the way he he's is not. on the server. Wow, okay. User he's not? Really? No, the whole thing is you yeah, we need really a developer. Recently, you have to understand. Yeah. Yeah. You're saying developer. Your boat's gone. Your boat's gone. Stop. I'm going to be honest. I understand where they're coming from. I understand. I, okay, I want too. prophecy gone too, but without a developer, and we don't have a developer right now. As yeah, soon as you bring up a developer, as long as you bring up a developer, we can deal with prophecy. Hey, Matt, can I ask you a question? Sure. Will the Sidewinder. server stop running? Will the, physically? Will the server? It won't server stop, stop running, but we won't get any progress like you me, want. You I said you want the progress. I understand that. I understand that. Will the server stop running? Will the bills stop getting paid? Will people stop coming? Uh, us people. Us in this channel, will we stop logging on if Prophecy stops developing? Yes or no? No. no. That's all I need to know. He leaves or I can't go to my people. Simple Thanks, as that. Sidewinder, you're hearing what is being said here, and that's your decision. Okay? As Wiggles just said, and I think it's the same thing that's come from Caveman and Sean here. I mean, we want change. I think we all agree we want change and improvement. But without a dev, we can't get those changes. In the real world, like in life, if someone's bad at their job, they're not necessarily fired until someone else is right. Is so, they're yeah. ready to hire. So, so anyway, what we have right, is a bad apple. That's where I was going with that. We've got a so, bad apple, but it's a useful apple. So basically how it's going to work is if Prophecy pisses you guys off or he abuses you guys in any way, you need to say something. And we will come down on him like we always why? have. <sighs> the guys that's all I ask. Why? The guys we've, got a I'm getting the, the problem is we've came to plenty of admins before. I've came to admins hey, a lot of times. The only one I can ever get to respond go. is Kenny, and he's friends with him. You want to know why Kenny is not, know why? nobody reports more Prophecy than anybody anymore? else? Oh, yeah, that's yeah. what he was yelling at me today. Wait, and then how many he also, bans does it take one before a permanent ban? You guys are all guys, saying, though, you won't stop. permanent ban him because he's a developer, Depends though. Depends on the severity. Not so you can never get someone else. The whole thing he's is, just recently a uh, developer, guys. He if you guys been okay, a developer this entire time. This, this, that conspiracy is completely moot. This is the stop. easiest thing. If you want him banned, find another developer. Then they'll gladly yeah. we'll ban him. Other developers, like, uh, the thing is... Cool. It We're being told he's got carte developer. blanche until okay, a developer guys, shows up. Guys, I'm gonna t hold on. Let me tell you something. Okay, I can probably I can tell you right now. If you guys disagree with me right here, Sean Caveman, you guys do you guys dislike uh, prophecy? User joined your channel. I don't mind him, but I don't have to interact with him. This I've known him for a do. long time, and he's always been a shithead dick nose. But over he's, time, he's he is a better. bit of a dickhead. But but yeah. he's he's a young kid who's just you know totally crazy and fucking a aggressive bit of and doesn't get laid. He's not crazy. He he's twenty eight and doesn't get dude, laid. When he, 
He's not okay, 28. Well, hold on, he's hold 20. On. He's like 20. If, if, if he doesn't have his not. chocolate, if he doesn't have his chocolate milk in the morning, he's a little bitch. And once he gets his chocolate milk, he's happy. And over time, he's gotten Fuck, better, so I tolerate milk. him. I can right. tolerate the dude. But I don't mind him. Yeah, here's the thing though. He's you know, you, did, you just heard from you just heard from Dude, this boat, of true this boat You just heard from both the people that but are I'm not pretty biased. much it in the lead of this. Like you or not. Hey. You both just said that you've just heard from, <laughs> like, from the two people you that like are in the no. top of this. Sorry. They do not particularly like him. They're on pretty much neutral ground right now. They don't they don't dislike him that much. Like they dislike him. There are people in the sure. community but like, what was the point of the petition love... though if the petition's just only valid on the if spot. there's another so, but I don't developer though? Because we can find another developer. As soon as we get another developer, I can tell you but right as soon as we get another developer, it becomes the community's decision. How many people on this channel decision. don't like him? That should have been instant. He's banned and stuff. That's, that's no. when no. most of the server. It guys. shouldn't matter if he's a developer or not. Get a developer Goat. another way. The server's not going to go down instantly because there's not a developer. Goat. Goat learned to death. But the thing is yeah, getting a developer is an instant, but I think it takes far longer than you're fucking expecting at the same it, time. It does. I'm I'll sure tell you. It does. It's, it's before it's about, about, do you know how long I feel? He's, he's, he's doing more harm to, like, to the community than he is helping my dev. So, We're still no, looking, still dude. Looking, like, dude. Prophecy, Prophecy just stepped in for us. Can I ask a question? They've been looking for at least a year. They have been. They've been looking for a solid developer for about a year now, and oh. Prophecy knew how to do my it. He said here. so. Mm. Is that he's about, got carp launch six now. months, but yeah. regardless of the situation, I, I regardless agree with of you, dislike or like for you. the man, he Just does have carp still. launch. I have to agree with you. There's someone else here, and we can get well, rid of this. We guys, can get rid of this as soon as we what? find another developer. No, no guys, you know we, we, he is carp launch. You realize how that sounds? That's an issue. That? The longer you wait, though, to get rid of him, the harder it is to give these people back, though. That's already what. Go, That's my problem too. I explained that to Drax as well. Drax, you can speak. Guys, we're starting to end up just getting into a non-productive. Yeah, I, I didn't like, want that flame. to happen. This is the, yeah, this stay. is turning out like the forums, dude. Yes, and I'm agreeing, and that's why I'm trying to put a stop or address it, uh, Sean. We guys, if we're speaking up, we need to stop speaking over each other. We need to stay calm, okay? <laughs> Let's and, well, and trust us. Need, trust us in what we do, you know. We need to. We're, we're trying to make decisions that everyone will enjoy on the server, not just you know admins. We're trying to make sure jump. that there's new shit coming down. out, new things. Sean, can I say something to you? Yeah. Prophecy treats you in a certain manner because your power, what what the position you hold. Same with caveman, and same. You don't experience, and I say with all respect, you don't experience the the things that the, you know ninety percent of the people that are willing here to stay have experienced with this guy. I don't. I don't feel, quite frankly, that that it's uh, respectable to keep a guy. I mean, that's like you know, like like uh, uh, what's his name said down here. You know, you know, keeping a guy on when he's doing a terrible job on the job when it's just because you're waiting to hire somebody else. That's to. I mean, to make that statement just says something. You know, if prophecy were in here to hear this, you know, we're keeping him just so we can find somebody else to get rid of him. He'd be gone. At least I would be if I was in this spot. I mean, the boat's not going to sink right yeah. away. We need to fix the problem now, and the cancer is him. That's all I have to say about okay. it. I won't mention uh, him. Accusing I people say, of being cancerous is like the most unproductive hold on. shit. All I have to say is one thing now after you said that. Okay, so let's say that there's this guy. You, you own a farm, right? And this guy wants to work for you so he can go farm on your fucking, uh, you know, your strawberry patch or whatever the fuck it is, okay? And so you're like, oh, but this guy's got a history of violence. He went to jail for beating up somebody. I don't want to hire him because he beat somebody up one day. He well, beat what's five he gonna do? Up. What's he gonna do? Beat up your fucking garden? No, he's gonna fucking farm that shit like you fucking hired him to do. So, so that's, that's the point I'm trying to make is that he is doing a very much needed job right now. And that's but your all strawberries can't to. also if he jump out of the breaks, ground and switch to a different farm, though. Channel. If he breaks any rules, he is going to be banned again. That's how it works. Okay, if it's well, bad enough, if it's bad enough and warrants a permanent ban, then he'll be permanently okay, banned. If well, you're like sure. everybody else made up of the community, are they not? Your farm is made up of that community. There's not going to be a community there or a farm. You're the now guy sitting at the man. dinner table waiting for food. Exactly. We're the guys oh, at the end of the counter. Okay. But what oh, if but we're see, gone? My neighbors have food. I'm going over guys. there. What happens That's... if we disappear? The farmer is farming <laughs> for no reason. Guys, we have to, and this is to everyone in here. Guys, we just ramped it back up. We just started arguing with each other. If we want this to work and improve, we have to stay calm here, guys. I'm plain simple. We got to take our emotion out of this. Mm. 
we've What's already our... voiced the opinions, and we got to address issues and topics in a productive well, manner. Real quick, what incentive User do you have or that you give to a person to become a dev here? I mean, it's something that is they're doing for free, I'm assuming. Yeah, correct. They get so to have a lot of input? They get, it's, they it's get pretty much see, volunteer. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a lot of work for a volunteer. It is. Well, yeah, really it hard to sucks, find a dev. You know? That's what, like, so basically, have a lot what of you people need saying it's going to be really easy to find a dev. Listen, you know, I own a software it. firm. I couldn't ever consider it. I don't have time. <laughs> Doing it for free. Yeah, you have to be inspired and want to learn more about it, and that's why they're doing it already. There's someone who's already interested in it, who is ha who loves the server and wants to see it uh, grow. So you have to have all those little aspects in line with each other just so the person's even willing to do it. Yeah. Now, I would love it if we could like uh, get some sort of like thing where we could all donate towards a developer. I would throw 60 bucks so fucking fast at someone who so could actually do a project. So yeah, but $60. So I, I, well, my I local even let you want to so use one of my guys. So fast. I couldn't. Sixty dollars. You get even two thousand dollars. Well, take a it's, fund. Create a fund. Really done. Problem solved. What next? <laughs> How long would it take? It's not that easy. It, well, it sounds like a easy. lot of people here probably could go to bat. Well, actually, a few people really here is that could go easy. to bat saying that I do not like prophecy at all. But at the same point, I'm trying not to make this personal. I got nothing against the But at the same the point, you can't just say that. It won't sync right away. Right now, the server, with updates and everything the way they are, unless they do a rollback month... They've, they've then... already got changes in the next patch. Oh, yeah. Well, By the way, all right. so, so this thing this thing, well, like you guys said already before, this thing, I mean, it sounds like this shit isn't going to come back. I mean, that's what, I mean, it, I hate to say. It is back. Like, it's still here. Never left. Yep. Once we again, still have a developer, so, we still have everything again, we need. It's up you guys, to us. Oh man, I don't know how long you all have been here for or how long you've ever been on a life server of any kind, but every year this shit happens. It goes so low where it pretty much collapses on itself and almost dies. And if it survives, then it gets good again. And we've gone through this about four times in two years. It happens every year, sometimes every six months, if big shit happens. We've had horrible bugs that broke the game severely that lasted for months. We've had so many things this uh, community has dealt with regarding Arma 3. So this is just another situation where we may die, we may go bye-bye completely, or we may survive. But, you know, we know what we need to do, and we're not really, you know, it's one of those things, guys, where, you know, we'd love it if you could stick around and try to, you know, have fun. But if you're not having fun, there's not much we can do about it other than what we're already doing, which is all volunteer work, all because we want. Uh, everyone to be happy because we love the shit out of this game and want you know the yeah. perfect fucking simulator life mod ever that's what we want and i've dedicated I fucking also months to this mention, shit dude and it, it wasn't wasted at all if you really cared about like how the server went and the community and stuff you should be willing to like give it a chance and just let fucking prophecy do what he needs to do because, <laughs> because that'll, that'll take us to the best point yeah. In terms of the or, dev side. The problem I have, I believe what? he's scaring off more new people than he's ever going to bring in by being a developer, well, though. Yes, He's going to scare off goes. more people that are already here and stuff, and he already has. He's proved it already. Well, here's, I guess. My, my biggest thing about um, him is just the fact that he seems like he's untouchable. You know, he does things, and he does things, and he does yeah, things. And that's, that's, why, that's, why, and, and that's what we're hearing in this what channel right now. Here? It's called a, a god company. God complex. That's what he has. Okay. It's called being he's a actually, god. Quick. He's actually not as uh, confident as he comes. What do you got? Right. He's kind well, of, no uh, shit. He, he's, he's, a, he's, a he's a he's a he's a he's a shy kid. We can tell he acts stuff on the internet. It's like guys, he's actually like in person or like yeah. out of the situation. This, he's very. This was brought up earlier today. Every human being is insecure. Some people act fucking strange, like prophecy. They grow out of it. All these men. However, he's not our pal. He's not the admin's pet. As much you can put that like one and send that to the back. If he does something that warrants a permanent ban, he will be permanently banned on the spot. I have Prophecy no problem six with it. Months ago, yeah, we're one of the nice people. We banned people to fucking Rasa for like over a month once for dropping the N word. Hey guys. Hey guys. Um, no one, no one, no one is fucking uh, untouchable. Since, trust me. Since this what? what hasn't been brought up yet in here, and our, it was earlier today in the conversation we had earlier. I think I know Dmat was in it. And businessman maybe 
it was brought up his band history, and there is a total of three bands on his history. I know we all think more. I know I did as well. But that, so yeah, that don't mean anything to me. No, that doesn't. So mean yes, else. he's got three chances. What we I don't requested care if earlier. you have six bands or twelve bands if they're tiny little as stupid bands. I care if if you do something really fucking bad oh, once. No grabs, I will yeah. permanently ban you if it warrants it. If well, it okay, doesn't then. warrant it, it doesn't warrant it. And what no opinion request... is necessary. It's the admin's decisions. What we yeah, requested I'm earlier. I wasn't banned for trying to blow up that gas station. Thank you. What we requested earlier, and it's something that I'm going to end up having typed up and presented to both since um, both you and Sean is get something public for like the band guidelines that we can release to the oh, community. Oh god, don't get me into this. Don't you get me started about fucking band guidelines. Well, <laughs> I know this. No, I, only sp I only spent I'm... a month and a half on that to watch fucking some little weasel go, oh, but I want to keep it super vague so I can be abusive when I want. Good no. job. I, and I understand. And that's why that was my personal bitch mode. Uh, this is uh, us as a community. Chest. It was brought up earlier. We're requesting something so we can see. When yeah, you just like talking about banning prophecy or people we don't no, like in the community. Where this I'm trying is to get stupid, to be honest. Yeah. And I'm well, in Drax that's where I'm trying to get away Drax from. is actually taking us away from that. Yeah. No, I fully agree, dude. I've been pushing is, for a long time a well, public way for us so the public can see exactly, you know, like, you know, they may get much worse. It may be the context may decide that they get a much worse or lighter punishment. You cannot be entitled just because you have this public sheet that says, okay, this is RDM's a three-day ban. Uh, you know, it's VDM's a, a two-day ban. It's like, pff, VDM could be a two-week ban, buddy. <laughs> I well, mean, so but that'll just let you know what it is. Yeah, no, I agree. Yeah, and I fucking agree. I, I tried very hard. I created one. Well, I had Jaeger create one. We fucking went off Dietrich's amazing template that is not public. It's only for admins, which I find ridiculous. But the whole like anti uh, argument is, oh, we don't want them to be entitled and think that they can't be banned for any longer, etc. It's like, well, then put a clause at the top. Oh, I don't know about that. Well, I want things vague so I can be abusive. And this <laughs> like, is to Sean. All right, then I Came give in. up. And this is to Sean because Sean is the one, in the, and everyone can hear it, the one who stepped up and spent, he's spending time now, he spent, like I said, three and a half hours till 6 a.m. last night talking to us when we first started trying to work stuff out. Sean, as you're taking the lead, or you seem to be for us, and as you said, can you go ahead and just start making... I mean, I know how the process has been. You have to wait on all this mini and whatnot. But just flat out lay it out that you've, you've been the one speaking with the community and hearing us out. Can they already just, know. Can you just do some of these things for us? Oh, so, like the patches and shit. Well, not I mean, nothing dev side. I know you. That's not you. I understand that. I think we all. I can change anything policy right now. I don't need their yep. input. Well, go ahead and just like start posting stuff so we can, um, just get stuff flowing. Information. Sean, I'm gonna share with you the uh, hard work that Jaeger uh, put into the uh, punishment guidelines. This is was designed to be public, by the way. Um. It was a template based off of Dietrich's old. Uh, I think we should probably revamp it, or at least make it so well, that people aren't interpreting it saying. to be like, bad on sight. No, like, it's not that. So, it's exactly the opposite. I hope you can see this. I'm trying to share it right now, but it's being oh, I've been I've been seeing admins who are like, oh, that guy sent me a text out of character. He broke RP. Bad, 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 bad. You know, like, that's, that's fucking dumb. And, I, well, you should what we're requesting... That. Sean is. Okay, I, got I mean, it. it's stuff that's brought up earlier today and last night as well. Like, I know, as you said, that there is a need for more admins, and I do know how hard it is to recruit them. I mean, I've. So, but, like, stuff like that, just something, just as we can start really releasing flow of information to the community over everything that's been heard. This way, everyone can see stuff is acting. I mean, and I appreciate you spending all this time with us, but we just need to have. To the community as a whole, it's, I mean, we we're talking our butts off these last 24 hours. More of that now, fuck. But try and just work as a group and get stuff flowing. Here's our outline. Here's what we're want. Here's what we're planning on doing. It may not happen today, but if we can develop a timeline of we want this, then this, then this, then, so community can see the action being had instead of 
as the ones not in here and won't be told instead of just seeing nothing being done as Sean, actual what thing. is if I can ask what is the financial state of the server we have enough funds in reserve to last us for some time okay so and do you have complete control you mean like the ability to use those funds no the ability to do whatever I don't want to see you carrying all the water if you will and then someone just come along User that's been out of the picture for a while channel. screw everything up but that's uh, what happens every time <laughs> yeah. yeah but no no one's gonna like in other words people or... in positions of authority on the server and everything else probably shouldn't have that anymore would you agree or do you have that ability to take it from them no oh well it was a good conversation well uh, I mean that's sort of I don't know I don't know what to say about that yeah, in the end, yeah, I, it's just like life, though. Honestly, it's just like the bill on Capitol Hill, man. Could be the greatest idea, could solve world hunger, but you got to convince the fucking people at the top that it's useful. So it's not only cool. could you could have the best idea in the world, but you also have to be convincing, and you have to be able to sell the idea. And, and unfortunately, people have their yeah, own they're... selfish, you know, reasons for not wanting certain things. And those are issues in themselves. But really, what is faced is, you know, this. They want well, to put their little. They want to put their spin on it, and well, it ruins man, the I, fucking I, concept I at the very end. I guess what I'm saying is, can Bobus just flip a switch or whoever for that matter, and just end all no. this and everything that's being done? No. I mean, they literally could, but they're not going to because of all the rest of us. Because we can just flip it back on. I don't know how that would happen, but okay. Okay, sidewinder. Because, okay, so Here, we, either we don't have a D-Mac feeling on. that we run through like a gaming server host. We have an actual server blade in a rack right i understand what that is so it's not like it's not like it's that we just cancel service we'll have that no matter what even if we stop doing sts we would go and use that server rack for other servers you know so we always had the potential to bring it back or do whatever so it's not anything permanent exactly here's I guess the question. <laughs> but, so it'll never go unless, of course, it ran out of money or people lost interest. Can, can I say something real quick? What's so up? basically, they call this a community, correct? What? This STS is a community, correct? Yeah. Okay. What's a community without the community and just have admins? What is it then? Uh, still community. I mean, oh, the U.S. Yeah, government. I mean, so it's, it's a small community. <laughs> yeah. I mean, much, yeah, much but. Community. But you have to remember, we went from a small community and a game that was roleplay based into this. We didn't just fall into this. Me, Bobus, and Dietrich, and these other guys have we've known each other. I've known Dietrich for ten years. I've known Bobus for six. So you know, for us, you know, we'll we'll always be a community, and we're always gonna be willing to have you guys here. It's ne- we're never gonna shut anyone out. So whether the server's here or gone. You know, nobody's not going to be invited to come hang out with us or do stuff with us in our other servers that we may go to. This is how we've transitioned. Like, we're all friends and we just keep rolling into games with each other. Yep. And that could be, you know, it could be Arma, it could be Face of Mankind, which is what we used to play, or Ark. Yeah, it could or be Minecraft. The Division, The we Division, just or all these jump new into games a channel coming out. and play games. Like, I mean, this guys, is how it is. For fuck's sakes, in three months' time, I mean, as much as I love Arma and can't wait for Tanoa and can't wait for whatever oh, that comes, Fallout, it could uh, be I'm very possible. Well, yeah, I know, right? But it could be very possible that some badass multiplayer game is on the horizon in six months' time. We don't want to touch Arma compared to this. <clears throat> you know what I mean? We have no idea. We have no idea what is in the future, but uh, I love Arma. I love Arma 3 specifically, and I, I wish that uh, we could just do a modded server, honestly. My personal selfish opinion is uh how do i say this without <sighs> okay all right so basically how i w- would love to see it is if we had like an exile with the daisy mod or like some sort of great modded server that was not on altus at all I fucking hate that map like essaker go back to stratus do something different that not everyone else is uh, doing and there's like the new australian put, map put, coming yeah out. yeah and put, and put new gu- i just want new guns new clothing and new cars in okay, a very okay. in a new that's, medic system. that's what we have working right now and, and I, I want have... a good medic system i want Hold that on. sexy ass medic system that fucking exile or whatever has because that hey. shit is orgasmic right. caveman um, amazing hold on i actually have a guy that made a exile mod a uh, mission file in mods 
which added all the Arma 2 guns into the Arma 3 Exile. Nice. I have nice. him working on an, on an mm. Ultis Life one currently, and he could literally Chernars, just take... He could, he, could, he could change the map like that. Well, yeah. oh, yeah. we're not worried about map. Johnny. So what, what, what I have planned anyway for the, the client-side uh, modding, server-side mod, um, or hard modding, I guess you can call it, I don't know, um, is, yeah, we're going to roll out first with just a couple weapon packs, Cup, that clothing pack, the trick one or whatever. And right, then, so fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah. And then fuck we're going to yeah. do maybe a vehicle pack. We're going to keep it light as possible. Um, we're looking at potentially trying to get other mod makers or other mods into the server and maybe replace those mods. Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen the... Fuck, what are they called? It, they made That's like a video. Russian version. Is it? Oh, sorry. No, I just thought of Task Force Radio. <laughs> I had to say it out loud, too. Oh. Oh, no, it's... They made, like, a Russian version, American version. Hang on, I'll bring it up right now. Oh, you're talking about the gun packs? Uh, this one has a lot more than gun packs. I oh, think... RHS. Armed Force of the Russian mm -hmm. Federation and RHS yeah. um, United States Forces. So yeah, we're thinking about awesome. replacing the weapon packs with those two, because the weapons in those are way better. But the thing is, we would... Rec those are like both together like five gigs on itself oh, our God. problem our problem that we had with our last modded server is that we had a ton of junk and bullshit in there and nobody wanted to download it so we want to make it easy for someone to click on a subscribe to a c collection on fucking steam yes fucking download we didn't it have that back and then. bam be in that shit like yeah we didn't business. have that like guys you can literally download fucking breaking point and epoch on fucking steam by hitting yeah. one button I'll be, right, button. I'll be right back, guys. I got ALF so, calling me in. So Let's honestly, guys, this is the truth, okay? So we have literally between 60 and 200 people who would love to come back to our fucking server, but they're just tired of Altus. They've just done it too much. They spent 2,000 hours doing Altus, this dude. shit. They've just spent 2,000 <laughs> hours doing well, this shit, guys. Start a dev and hold on. Hold let's on, start a dev fund. Well, then let's do it, man. But still, I'm down. I'm down. I'm down. I don't mind at all. I, I can, I can so, put money in for it to buy it. I just want you guys Listen, to guys. If we're paying you guys need to trust us, we're going to get premium content if we're paying hold somebody. Up. Hold up. Hold you up. Prosty's already first. working <laughs> on a modded server. So we already have one kind of setup. We're working on the map, and then we all we have to do is throw some content in. Like literally just vendors with guns and shit. Okay, like the but new guns hold on. And stuff. I have a question, though. Okay. The problem, okay, I'm going to tell you one thing right here. The biggest Jeez, problem that the people are in this channel right now for is because of prophecy. Am I correct right now? I'm just here I... because I'm here. Okay, Dude, but every, almost everybody in here has a problem <laughs> because prophecy is here. Correct? That's, I, we're going back to the dead horse. I know, I know we are, before, but guys. just give me a moment. I'll, I'll, okay, I'm fine with prophecy staying here and being a dev as long as he doesn't cause a problem in server like he has been if he he's been pretty tame on, lately he i've noticed that Honestly, he's been Sean, a lot yes, more not. tame than User okay at least in my from what i've seen he has User been a bit more tame than what he has been in the past so, completely because he is a dev now he will be on a server a little bit but definitely not as much as he has been before no, it's have the you guys admins, modded a video game before? If you're modded Skyrim, long, you can't play that game time. anymore. It, no, it you takes a long you, time. Have you modded Skyrim, guys? You what happens to you when you mod a game? You know, you can't play it anymore. You log in, you go, nope. oh, I want to change this now, and you leave. And so yep. that's what you happens. Go get, you go get once like you a start devving, it's like, over. Yeah, so, use it for yeah, two minutes, and then you're exactly. like, fuck this. I'm fine. Yeah, so once you start devving, it's over. Plus, uh, I'm fine with him staying. As long as you guys know, you guys might even be okay with him. You know, you guys should okay. be celebrating that he that he's a dev now, not just stop about? that he's a dev. That's what about? I'm saying. Prophecy. I just got back here. Really? Okay, it's so like I when people were like, <laughs> like, like, people are saying, it's like when people are saying, oh God, Ross is a brown crown now. The world's over. It's like no, now brown crowns are all inactive as fuck. So that just means the guy you hate is not going to be that much more inactive. So exactly. calm the fuck down. I'm fine it, with I'm fine be with okay. this because prophecy takes less time. He's less on the server and he's more yep. developing. Exactly. I can I can understand where you're coming he's from. He's of service to you now. It's like he, all, everything you could have ever wanted. As long as when he is on or any time, I just want him to be known that he's on and that he is being watched carefully in a way. Okay. That he's I will on tell more you of a tight one, leash. Once again, the entire admin team 
is held accountable for their actions. None of us are above the rules. When we break the rules, it goes to admin uh, reporting and we get punished for it. It's very rare that it does occur, but when it does happen, we get punished for it. I've no admin is above before. the rules. So therefore, if you guys think that it's a, some sort of miracle that we're accountable, it's not. Okay, we have a good structure, and Prophecy is included in that structure as a developer. He is very much held accountable for everything he does. So I am fine with how it is. I'm fine with Prophecy being a developer as long as he is on more of a tight leash. Since now yep. he is, since he has been put as in technically in your structure of an admin. Yeah. That he is responsible for what he does. Well, he always has been. So there you have it. But yeah, uh, I'm tighter, sorry. tighter the least. He's always, the, the... always been held responsible. Is that what? He... Yes, he is. Yes, absolutely. He's never banned three times. He, he, he's I've been I've banned three split. times. He's been banned three yeah. times. He might have been banned because you simply weren't recording on the right moment. Yep. I have legitimately <laughs> seen him banned twice, and it was have, clean yeah. cut both times. It, there was no qualms in the matter. I can attest fact, that they did ban him over the subject. Kenny and I were arguing and actually got like a little salty at each other because uh, I wanted to ban Prophecy and I did all the work and Kenny, fu Kenny fucking banned him because he wanted it on his record because he always bans Prophecy and I was like pissed off at him because I wanted to ban the piece of shit. Have you seen the newest video from Waldo that Waldo recorded on Prophecy? No. No, but Kenny is he like does it though to prove the point that he's not biased because it's always kept no, bringing it's up. No, it's not. No, he's, stuff, really, he's not doing it to prove some point. Because he's always dude. hanging with them, but they run oh together God. a lot. It's not to prove some guys, point, dude. That's a conspiracy that's completely false. Hold on, guys. Hold on, guys. Direct. Do you have that video link? Please just keep with the mods for the sake of the. Oh my God. But we guys keep yeah. trying to beat this dead horse. I mean. If all right, let's end, all the gonna... let's end the prophecy situation. Let's move on to progression in what we can do for the server. What, like, we need rule stuff changed? Okay. We need the rule changes. We need the the flow of information. And then, as stated last night in Caven, we addressed it earlier as well. We need a player support team that's actually supporting the community and working with community members and getting stuff said. Uh, if you need me, I will be part of that support team. I mean... I think, and if anyone objects to it, I mean, I think we could even create a Google poll and everyone could, similar to ALE elections, and select a community represent, re representation team. Similar to, like, I've made the post all this government, but let's make it instead of that where it's in game stuff, it's the forum stuff as Kevin suggested. It's being, like, working with the admins and whatnot directly. I mean, let's do something like that. Let's get it moving instead of just talking on it. The bridge I'll happily between... do it. I just need permission from you guys if that's what's wanted from the community. Let's empower the community. Because the, the community has not had the, the, as much power as it has be, in the past. I mean, if that's something that's wanted, I'll do work. I just need to know what you guys, as really what Sean, you want from us. Like, what we can do, what obviously, unfortunately, falls kind of on your shoulders, um, as you're the senior admin who's going to be helping get everything back, and then what you want players to do, and let us know. I think everyone in this channel, including Sidewinder, who is, I think, with some of the ALF guys more on the fence, we all want what the same thing. We all are willing to put some effort in to do it. Drax, I'm just, on the fence because selling this with him here is just going to be a no, fucking I know, I know. mountain. And I would like, well, here, and it just may be my own minute opinion of myself. I would like to talk to Betzner and try and talk with him and get him back and relay everything that's been said here. And that's something I feel I do well. I can tell you exactly what they're going to say. I just know. Oh, I'm sure. They're going to say no because Xer knows that prophecy was part of the thing that happened with the video and stuff. Well, he was and, the one that originally found the videos and gave it to them. I, I don't want to keep beating the prophecy. Thing. Yeah, let's, really, it's getting old. I really want to get just, that subject off the table in this group because we beat that dead horse. But we really need Sean to get in. away from the idea of prop the prophecy. Okay, I mean that's well, I mean you guys. At this point, need... it, it is really unre ir irrelevant. It is because you guys are saying you won't even go really consider because he's a dev chat. though. Go have a prophecy chat up in public one goat.
Like, see, I don't think he's the only anymore. change that needs to change, though. I mean, there's lots well, of other changes, but it's going to be hard to get people back, though, when you won't even acknowledge that you won't even ban him, though, because he's a dev. You guys keep saying they we have to get another that. dev first. They yes, have you not said did. that. That's not true. If he breaks the rules, if he does anything, he will. I mean, if you guys come with any proof, any proof, he will be banned. He will get banned, just like anyone else. Just because he's a hey. dev does not mean he's immune to the rules. Look, okay, okay right now, if we're right gonna, now, if we're gonna have on. a conversation about yep. something, it's not gonna be about prophecy any longer. Yep. And so this is done. Be. If you, if you want to fucking talk about prophecy, go to public one. We're done with it. Jesus Christ, guys. What we need to do and keep working on is what we I'm asking is what are things that we can do like and assign it out. I think everyone in here wants to help. Let's get us moving to help instead of just talking. Let's start the community members doing action and let's start it. I mean, we've had I know at this point Kenny's been involved in two of them. Sean now has been involved in all three in three major discussions. I feel I have. I mean, we need to start making action. I think, as you guys have heard, the community's all saying similar things outside of a certain individual. Everything else the community's saying together. Start. Let's start working on it. Tell me what you want from me. Tell me what you want from Waldo. Tell me what you want from Sidewinder. I'm just naming people that I remember since I'm actually in game right now. But tell us what you want from any individual here. If we can do it, I know Recoil said he'll step up and do anything you want. I'm throwing him under the bus. Let us know what you want, and we'll work. That's what we want to do. I'm really good at skins and graphics. That's all I can. I, I don't know anything about scripting. Well, I'm not even saying d dev side issues. That's honestly our minor issue right now to get stuff back to where we are working. User joined your channel. If you want a rule rewrite. We just need to get the community in order first, is what he's yeah. saying. Hey guys, NRE here. And so let's get moving on those topics first. And just what we need from you guys is, since it's, and I know it's Caveman, Sean, and Kenny in here as the, I'm putting you in, included in that, Caveman, because that's where we all still see you. I know you're tired, officially. I'm but, retired. Yeah, I know that. Anyway, <laughs> what we want from you guys is an action plan, assign stuff that you want out, talk to the individuals on a smaller scale than this group chat of what you would like to see from us, what we can do to help. And if we can't do it, we'll let you know. But I think all of us do want to help it. And all we need is direction to be pointed in. I know we're not admins, I know we're not staff, or any of that. But there's a lot of things in the community that have to be started as actions that the members in this channel and the others want to see being performed so point us in the direction and we'll move in it yeah <laughs> double yeah and if you need thoughts on it let's get a smaller group I mean I think we've we have recordings of who all has been in all these things as well just so we can see it and let's figure it out. Let's get an action plan moving. Yeah, groups. And let's get... We want a rule rewrite committee if that's something needs to be done. Or modification, let's get it. Let's get the... Basically the ban action plan that was talked about earlier. Uh, that, should be, that should be definitely be a thing. Is We need to write down a fundamental rules of punishment. Hey, let's... Let's get into more punishment detail on the guidelines. Stuff that we need. Um, yeah. Punishment guidelines are very useful for the admins as a reference. Just a basic reference. I mean, in all honesty, I see it very similar to the cops. Um, you know, they have a protocol in, in which how long someone should be punished for. You know what I mean? However, with the protocol for cops, it is, uh, you know, required of them to not stray from that. They can go a little bit under that, but they can't go over that. And with the admins, they can they can, it's completely at their discretion. These guidelines will have to be made very clear that they're nothing more than guidelines. So this is what you can kind of expect to see at a, kind of a standard level, but due to the fact that every situation in its own context is uh, completely different from the next one, bans are always going to look a lot different. And people, so some people might get banned six times for RDM 
and not be permanently banned because the severity was always different. See, see what I'm saying? So that's the problem with the whole public uh, ban guidelines is that you're always going to have that person who's saying, oh, this right, doesn't match up. What about this so guy? Bad. How come mine blah, blah, blah? And it's just another massive headache that I believe a lot of people would rather just avoid by not making it public. And I, understand I that disagree. I, I would rather have that negative just because truth I think it can open flow of communication, though. And that's something yeah. that's been lacking and will agree to be changed moving I'm, forward. I'm on your side of the fence as far as I'm concerned. All right, does anyone have anything else constructive to add to this? I also this feel that when the, like when we if the server does get started up again and going again, good. We do need to have scheduled meetings like this that we can just discuss with the admins in the channel as a Agreed. casual thing. Because Agreed. without because this is gonna be the this right here is because some admins won't read the forums, others won't be informed through lack of information given from one that has read the forums. Um, I think one of the good stepping stones in that be... direction was the OLG ALE meetings that admins were stepping in on. I have to say, I hate that I missed the last one because I was in the hospital at the time, but apparently no one else showed up to it besides well, Drax. People, and I've talked to people, including it, I mean, but that first one I think was great. And I think members of the community saw better ALE rebel relations coming out it did actually yeah i would say that and, it's it almost dried out and almost hit a plateau yeah. because it was working <laughs> and I we mean, need like, to for the the admins, next step and... is admins yes admins need to be yeah. doing the same thing and admins also need to be having fucking admin meetings but yeah. and, uh sean what i think we're asking from that and anyone correct me if i'm wrong if we end up getting a player appointed player support team this way we don't have a hundred person meeting because, I mean, we've already been talking over a ton in here. If we have player representatives with the admins and then notes, and I will i don't want to be involved in it, I'll step out and just take notes from it for it. Like I did the ALE meet, and I shared with those who weren't there, and anyone who wants them, I'd share it with them. And, I, mm -hmm. and just have notes, basically meeting notes, posted on the forums. Here was what was talked about with your player representatives. Here's the issues. Here was the action said. Something just like that. I could easily Where record them for to people to check it out too if they miss yep. it. So we have player representatives or community yep. representatives with the admins working like and they meet every however often and working to any suggestions and stuff, it's brought that way so admins can do more admin work. Alright guys, I'm getting off. See ya. Right, see ya. Take care, man. Take care Bye. men, whatever. And that's something we can schedule. User disconnected from your channel. Schedule for next weekend. And if the next we, week. And the next week. Well, for now, more often, obviously, than than not. But something just like we have this meeting, or and I'm calling it a meeting because in reality it is. I don't think most of us are in any game right now. We're all talking, and we all want to fit stuff. So if we have a representative group of the community working with the admins, and then relaying that information back to the community. That flow of information gets opened up. My question: One of the uh, one of the changes going to revert back. Is there a time uh, timetable on this? You, you have any thoughts, one? Um, there's not a time. I mean, it's just in the works, man. Um, it's just not a time frame. Um, we're gonna we'll get him out as soon as we can. It's just. I uh, yeah, guesstimate. A guesstimate. Um. A few days. Time frame for what? Okay. To reverse the changes that were made. Two or three days. Three right. days. What, which changes? Uh, to revert back. back. Bullshit. To revert back Hardcore. from the last. Yeah, maybe just better to do a rollback, I think. Would you mean rollback to what? If you'd like. So before the changes. Before the Because a lot changes. of people got mad and left and ended up giving away a lot of their shit. Crafting. Crash which and which guys win. Um, before the, the changes the are on Friday. Server, the patch. Oh, these the little ass changes. Rollback yes. okay. about. Three days. I That's would agree. Bad. A rollback would be good because it would be incentive for people to kind of throw their hands up to come back knowing that at least some of their, I don't even know what to call it, uh, complaints, tantrums that they took uh, are reversed. Because oh, a lot of people did. Is they, that first off, guys, Sean? Uh, Sean, do you know if that's even doable? At all, to do like a 48 hour, at this point, it'd be 48 hour rollback.
of the They've server. done bigger rollbacks They've than done, that yeah, during those purge, severe server issues. I'm the asking because Sean would, ones. I think of everyone in here, he would know if it's currently with how stuff is set up doable or not. Once everything's fixed, I wouldn't mind a, if metro rules are changed and that thing a, a purge is just a complete reset, but I'd say more people in the community need to put input on that first, though. I'm sure a purge right after this whole thing would probably drive more people further away. Yeah, yeah. no, I didn't. Say, hey, mean we it fixed it, but all your stuff is oh, gone. You know, no, right. just I didn't, I didn't, off even more. No, I didn't mean it as in like actually do the purge. I meant as a point in when we did roll back a big amount of time was, was the, when we did the purge. Afterwards, we rolled back a lot of time. Yeah, yeah, there was a huge issue with some uh, sync stuff between the two. Uh, two the, day before, um, the day before, the day before, the the very hour before the changes is fine. I mean, I guess uh, Sean's AFK at this moment, but um, Kenny, Flynn, Caveman, do you guys know if that's doable? Flynn? Yeah, Flynn! Flynn Flynn's is in here. In. Jeez. They let, they let anybody in here. You fell <laughs> over. That <laughs> <laughs> girl. Sideline, sure. were you here during the, um, during the swap over from, from the old server to this one? I don't think he did. He moved. He came in a, just a few minutes ago. There were... <laughs> a few minutes ago. Wow. No, you but I mean, were you here during you that last swap over? What swap over are you speaking of? From the old server to the new server on their client side, client side. Client side. Uh, I was the here client like, side. They had one. I was here like a year and a half, two years ago. Played a while, left for like three or four months, and then came back. Okay, a couple months ago, we swapped over to a new server. Um, they they. Bought a new server rack, a new blade. A box, yep. And they got rid of the old one. But in the transition from one to the next, there was a huge AE issue and a huge um, garage issue with a lot of people where they lost all of their stuff. So they rolled it back essentially, a, they took the old mission file and rolled it back essentially a week back to that. Wow. So it is entirely, it is possible, as far as I know, to be able to at least roll back a week. I'm just thinking of the guys that, you know, said, screw it, I'm not coming back anymore, and gave away all their money. I didn't do that. I mean, my stuff's all intact. I'm not worried about it. So but I, I'm just trying to give the ones that, you know, uh, just an incentive to come back, that, it, it, you know, it's been the way before you left. I, I do agree with you uh, wholeheartedly that um, if a lot of people did yeah, leave a in a huff over a change or two, that it would make it a lot easier for them to come back if we... It's like... It's like half what was announced. I mean, wait. So you want to bring helicopter cancer back to the server to have more? Not the helicopter okay, cancer in and of itself, but, but to give people back to the stuff they had. Is what? if we do the rollback in full, like for forty-eight hours, is I think about what we need. So the rollback would be to for what though specifically? Uh, the people who gave everything away and basically the what the movie The Purge that happened last night in a lot of ways. <laughs> I mean, it happened last night, Gabe. It, 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 I wasn't it, there for it. It, 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 it happened. It happened. Oh, it people, was a big time. It was, <laughs> it was, off, it was awful. We pre well to went to left. Wasteland on this map at one point last night. Oh my god. Hey, is Coyote in here? I'm here. I know I'm not here. Give me the we, goddamn Zamorak. God damn. Right, so we've talked about like oh. how S everybody's heard at least STS. People post in side chat. STS, New Wasteland 2015 or so. It was literally... It was. Wait, it was night. like times ten what any of people meant by that before. It was times <laughs> ten that you last the street, night. You got shot. <laughs> like but, almost every building in, on the map was like yeah. either blown up or something. <laughs> Everything. Was all I remember. Up. All I remember is oh. I log in and I go to the garage and I get shot. So he's like, "Oh shit, Nitro, I love you. I'm sorry. I'll revive you." And then I got <laughs> shot again after I got revived. <laughs> it was great. It's okay, Nitro. We ended their so careers. It was great. So, like, what I guess we're asking is, by doing that, then we can take the change log and have community, like, basically community discussions on it. So, Coyote, Samurai, right now, let's go. I can't. I can't. I'm leaving for two months. You're on the internet right now. Just log in. <laughs> Just so, like, real quick, like by doing that, the people who basically were part, part of it banned. or who gave their stuff away, you know, they can fill. A lot better coming back and not be um, ruined. It's just a good incentive, that's all. But whatever. 
The only real thing that I think booty bust people was the heli insurance. It was just the strong. Ladies, I have a proposition for all of you. Sean is a fucking nerd. Okay, Sean. <laughs> Sean's been Sean's been Don't let your dreams be memes, Brian Pigeon. <laughs> oh, no. oh, let, let me. Oh, oh no, my push logged out. Hold on. Crying, Brian. All right. Crying Pigeon. Anyway, Crying Pigeon, Guys. boys. I died Sean, in a game. I'm going to quit. Sean, since you're back now. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm thinking Thank of you. playing Trouble in Terrace Town. You're all invited. Would you all like to play? Well, Sean, let, Sean let's talk about server. server. I don't know thing. if you just heard the request of a lot of us. I did not. Okay, would it be possible to roll the server back 48 hours? The logs, the stuff. Take, I mean, address some of the complaints from the patch. I know you guys have heard not just the hill and We ones, can go back others. to the previous version. But we can't take back like inventory changes and shit like that. That can't oh, be what done. About, uh, what about garage changes? Nope. Well, what's so bad about the new patch? The only thing is the heli insurance. That just makes it so you don't have God well, mode on them. Uh, what's wrong is where, comma, space, where. Yeah, what's well, so bad no. about making, cry making crybabies suffer? Well, I feel like you know, we should have on. addressed some other things before we took away insurance. Like, either oh, made heli yes. helicopters cheaper, put them in the shops instead of having to I produce agree. them, shit like that. I agree, I agree as well. So. Correct. Deal, by deal. doing Only... that, we can get the community not necessarily, obviously, back, but by roll rolling back to the previous version, and just for a time being, making some of the changes out of this version that the community don't necessarily desire, or we don't have just reasons for at the moment to log, then we can, that can be a step to everyone else that's not here and hearing this to show stuff is being worked on to be improved. That could be a fairly simple step to be done to show we are working as a community to improve stuff. So it's almost, whether it's right in the long run or not, it becomes a short term step that people can see, okay, shit is being addressed. I mean, as most of us have said, based on everyone in here, the helicopter insurance and helicopters just in general aren't positive for roleplay. God damn you guys in chat. Just turn but, it off. Not set a things. rule that you can't rob from a helicopter. That's all. Simple well, stuff. Stop but before even that, oh. just it, it'll show the commitment and desire to the other people of the community. Um, it will show that desire to other people not here that stuff is being addressed and changed. Very Brian, simple. You can't initiate Brian, robbery from a helicopter. No. That's all. That's Very all. simple. And it's just one of those things. It's the, it's those little things we talked about earlier, um, and that's the caveman that can be built in and redone. But this would be a major step, I feel, to the members of the community that the voices are being heard. Yeah. If that makes sense, Sean. Having that meetings. It's, it's more of a voice thing that, okay, your voice is being heard. We're doing this. Now let's look at that change log and as a community figure out what's best. So are the admins against uh, the insurance on birds still or no? Yeah. You as a whole, I just yes. think that I just disagree with the way it was done, but, but too late right now. now. I mean, I mean at the same the time, we, we want no insurance on helis. That shit's stupid. It sucks. I mean, maybe some other alternative in the future could be uh, figured out, and I'm totally happy with whatever that is. Compromises are fine, but it's extremely important. The end goal must be that Do people value their around. helicopters. People must, must value, value their it. helicopters. Okay, so, yeah, but they're so hard to get. So I, mean, I, don't, I don't like that they're, they're craftable. Well, yeah, like that's, a, that's the thing. The hummingbird should be purchasable. Let me ask you. Too. Sure. What, Make it purchasable. Is, okay. Why would... 30 are in the next patch. Why yeah. would... What is the reason exactly why you don't want insurance on helicopters? Because, because helicopters... helicopters... Helicopters enforce bad RP in the sense that right. people, people will come, jump out of the helicopter, right. the helicopter, hands up or die, not uh -huh. worry about if they lose the helicopter or not, because they're unchoppable, they're they're un, uh, uh, you can't okay. lockpick lock them. Well, so, so you can't lose think... them. Sure, I agree. Sean, but 
why can't we just say because people you know they desync they go linked it there's there's a million reasons why and, and quite frankly it probably fill up your forums with comp requests uh, why can't you make it just illegal That's to one initiate thing I, RP from I kind helicopter? of want insurance act is because I yeah. don't want to have to deal with the fucking right. comp requests just, just make it illegal even on the insurance. server to initiate well, RP from a requests on helicopters well, hold on. I have a solution you just brought up the whole part where you can't lock pick them make it so that they're lock pickable then that's, that, that's, that's an option. option. That's it, an easy it option. needs to happen. Yeah, it doesn't solve exactly. the issue. Exactly. That's. Uh, but here, yeah, but it I might not solve it. the option, but it, it like is it, a good. Though. It's a good option because mm -hmm. simply you land, and right. in ten seconds your heli could be gone. You have to. Right. You have to constantly have it in your vision yeah, if you like can lock that. pick it. Uh, so yeah, you can have permanent insurance. You can't drop off and poop a bunch of people out and not worry about your helicopter getting fucked because I agree. it's it's locked. You know, it's, and it, it would solve the problem point. of crashing by accident or, or desyncing. The really the stupid thing about helicopters is basically if you rob in a helicopter, you have God mode. Cops can't do anything to you. Uh, Sith can't do anything. You just fly away. It's too fucking hard. But to Wiggles, do anything. if you made there, the rule, a I shoot people rule, out of helicopters no all day, bro. Helicopters. It, it, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculously easy to just, just um, fly away really fast. Really fast. The only issue so I see with helicopters fingers. Is, is that you'll usually see the eight guys sitting in the middle of the map and they're just spamming the four key looking for the big vehicles to hunt down. I mean, they're not using it for runs, really. But, Ryan, you can just solve it. Very simple. Make a rule. Make a rule. No, no RP robbery from helicopters. Very but simple. Then, but then with that, with they're going to have one guy on the ground, and then the helicopter comes in as backup, and then that just evades the rule. It has to reinitiate roleplay oh, because they were part of the initial contact. Right. They could they be could just be... over the hill, they can be within... Yeah, but it's going to out real quick. With that. Out well, there. I think for now, again, I mean, these are rule changes that we need to get posted and have discussed, and then get implemented. This, but... this is what I'm going to throw out, just so that I can kind of help the admins right now. You know, God gave us two ears and one mouth. That means we need to listen more than we need to talk. That's not a bit Thank rude. You, Thank you, Lunar. No. Damn fucking right. Not rude at all. But, <sighs> and like, with this point of on the helicopters and just the patch as a whole, I, I don't think anyone in here agrees the whole set of things were bad. It's part I love of, you guys. I've, no, sorry. I've said a few times, it's the fact that the community doesn't feel they, with these cha type of changes, were really informed. So let's pull it back. That'll appease some people to start with, I and mean, wherever that's part's worth, and then let's address the changes and get the community involved. Honestly, I think a bit of a better way to handle the whole helicopter situation would have just been to remove temp insurance, make perm insurance the only thing you could do, and if the you know the greasy shit dropping in the ocean, all oh, oops, I crashed when you're arresting me, that kind of shit keeps going double the price. And that's something that by doing it in this manner, where we're addressing the issues in, on the forums, in the productive manners, we can get going. But for the time being, if we revert back, we can at least be... We already started on the road. Yeah. By going back to the last mission file mm -hmm. set, we can then work with the community and get moving up. Yeah, you got to do something sort of right away. And I think that's the sh easiest, short thing that will be It's the quickest way doable. that we can yeah. do to make that's doable so people will play on the server again. Just to do a rollback. From and then the last we, patch. We, we address the issues in this patch set, as well as whatever will come out in the future. So it's... If notes. I had my way, I would do a six-month rollback. rollback. <laughs> kind of Absolutely cave, man. No, God, no, my shekels, all my money. Guys, 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 stop typing, please. Wait, wait. Um, oh, I fixed it. I, I turned off the notifications. How do you turn it off, please? Where do I do it? <laughs> uh, go to settings and then go to options and then uh, go to notifications at the bottom. Go to chat, just under U, above sound capture, and then uh, fourth from the top or third from the bottom, uh, you receive a channel message. User Click that. From your channel. Done. Apply. Thank you so much. Yep. Um, yep. Have you guys ever consider re-adding the uh, old economy where you would make a lot more money for your runs? And yeah. also maybe yeah. re-add gang items? I kind of miss them. Nope. I love no, the lower amounts. I don't like the fact that, you know, things cost $300,000 mm -hmm. and they should cost forty. dollars um, But um, yeah, I do agree with you on the standpoint of 
It's a bit unsatisfying. To it be just, I mean, it just looks like a couple like things, things didn't get changed when the new economy came over. And that's something that we can address on the forums. Admittedly, I've read rolling. the new changes that have just happened with prices. God, Coyote, you really do just sound like it, me. It, if you guys want the six-month-old history lesson in about 30 seconds, I'll give it to you. I mean, it's pretty basic what happened to us. Uh, we put in this really cool crafting concept, and then we lost all our devs who were supposed to fucking continue to work on it. Literally the next month afterwards. <laughs> it's like, wow. So we just, like, did this crazy huge change and stopped supporting it entirely. Honestly, I you think know, the like, crafting thing was forced in the, a bit too hard. The drugs like just died. No one did drugs, no User one did diamonds, no one does gold. All the things that people used to do that made the server somewhat dynamic, it all turned into doing steel only. And it has been that way mm -hmm. since then. And it's, it's it's ruined it for me. Honestly, it's totally ruined the game for me. Uh, and, uh, what's the point of doing gold runs when you can just go make your weapons and shit? Well, I like to rob people who are doing gold. And I like to like take a little bit of their gold and it's just funny as fuck to me. Yeah, way, gold in my pocket. Away. Except yeah. we started doing it again with the new money, with the new um, new economy really changes well. that just happened. Well, you have to have things have more value to them. Which they did. They just tweak it a little bit. I've yeah. been saying yeah. this, I don't know if that's going to work, though. Quite some time. I think the crafting should have been an option rather than the primary feature. I think everything Agreed. should be left in the stores and purchasable for a reasonable price, and crafting was there Completely if you didn't want to pay. Completely agree. Well, guys, I think and, that's and I think been that's, And I think that's the best thing we could do, honestly, is to not remove crafting necessarily, but... Uh, have it items. completely optional. Yeah. People like crafting. It's fun sometimes. Optional. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, people like buying things. It's fun sometimes. I, you got Some people, people who love would, crafting, and it's really cool to see it. It's really cool to see to people out. like the, like the businessman or LeBlanc de Muerte, rest, rest in peace. Like you know, some people fucking LeBlanc. like, oh whoa, crafting! I'm gonna be a millionaire. Fuck yeah, and that's all they want to do. And you're like, <laughs> and wow, you're crazy as shit. Okay. No fucking fun. Snell was clearing out five hundred thousand dollars a day at one point. Yeah. I don't know how I mean, anyone can do it. I hate it so much. Can, it's so boring. I can give you multiple examples of people who love to go out and craft, and that's what they like to do. And then I've got yeah. people who play with NRE that literally will not craft. They will buy oh, yeah, anything no, they can. I, that's not I the problem. Craft. I refuse to craft. There are people that just don't want to do it. And then to force the crafting thing as the primary thing kind of ruins that for them. I think that drove a few people away, too, right in the beginning. Forcing is but, the problem. Crafting itself was a great addition. The forcing yes. it was the problem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yes. But first oh, thing... The reason like, why it was forced, guys, is because there was an amazing dream and a vision behind it all, and it was going to be really fucking cool. Yes, it was going to be all to develop it was be time. All, yeah, it was going to be all fucking craftable, and it was like everything you'd go and go, you got was made by somebody else. It was player driven and be fucking amazing. But nope. Oh well. Peace yeah. out. But, I'm out. Done. Done. Honestly, it. before like the the whole AE thing, I know I posted on the forums not too long ago, but uh, when I first started playing again after I had left and then I came back. I bought a huge load of guns from Big Sambino. It was like this whole shady meetup, you know, it was me and just one other guy and we're like, oh, is he gonna fuck us over? You know, it was really fun. I mean it added a big fucking element of just like not really knowing. Now with the AE you kinda just like, oh there's a gun for fifteen K. I own it. And also K for Caden Caden. Oh with the AE. The whole magical it's in your ma mailbox thing. It would be cool mm -hmm. if instead you can, like, somebody, you can pay the money to them through a transfer, but, I mean, like, you can, like, now, you can pay the money through a transfer, but you, it doesn't, it doesn't, you don't get it in your mailbox. The way it has to work out is you guys, he, you, the person that bought it sets a meet location, and there, then, that, transfer. like, how he, transfer, like how he just explained it, how he kind of got the thrill from what's he going to do, what's going on, now. Well, I think that now, takes away gonna, the escrow agent that is AE. Yeah, but so that, you I mean, you're either doing one or the other. You can't have a middle ground between the two of them feasibly. Yeah, but that this this replaces the now now, but now they can like they have to give you the gun if you give them the money. That has to happen. But on your way leaving or something, they can try whatever they want to, as long as you're in your vehicle first and like you have at least been driving for a little bit or flying. Uh -huh. I don't know if that's going to... I like the idea of giving everybody the option to buy everything again. Yeah, that's a good idea, though. I mean, yeah, because that's, it being That's forced, one of the bigger things. Yeah. Now, I, I mean, because that's an easy one. You just kind of edit don't the shots. Spend your fucking money fix. on. You, I, I mean, but... Do that one. Robbing's so difficult when you can't rob nobody. 
Because <laughs> there's nobody to rob. I'll tell you, <laughs> robbing people was a lot more fun when they had money and not steal. Mm-hmm. <laughs> when you're doing runs and you're running around with 200k, that's a lot of fun. You're running like a full load of steel, you're like, oh, I'm not carrying that shit, fuck this noise. The trick is yeah, to rob much. people in your own hammock box, you just transfer it right over, boom. See, a lot 